We're rolling? Kick us off, brother. Dude, le- oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to, I mean, I would say a quite above average podcast, even if we don't have the numbers. I don't even, I don't even really know, but I will say we're back, boys. The whole crew's back here. Yeah. We're fucking back. It's outstanding. Before we get into anything, we need to talk about the most durable, most reliable sponsor and vehicle that happens to be on the road. That happens to be the most beautiful, the bow tie, the Chevy Silverado. I'm doing the best I can so the boys can just absolutely pull up this ad read for me. But the Chevy Silverado has seven convenient figurations. Am I right? Yeah. We got uh, the, what, the ZR1, ZR who? Oh my God. I have to read all this by myself right now. We know every everybody starts the season undefeated for the first month. Everyone has a shot, but one team has already won it all. That team is Chevy and its star player, the Silverado. According to JD Power, Chevy is the most aw- most awarded brand for the new vehicle. We're back. Just like that. Mm-hmm. We're fucking back. You're crushing it, baby. Awarded brand for the new vehicle quality, and Chevy Trucks has won more new vehicle quality awards than any other brand, and that's some serious hardware. But champions don't stop. They keep moving forward, and that's what Silverado is all about. From the LT model to the most extreme Silverado ever, the ZR2, Chevy gave the Silverados, the Silverado a new interior with a large... I don't even know what that word is. What is that word? infotainment infotainment screen and infotainment screen which it's got to be electric both literally yeah and figuratively it's got to be electric and digital and in instrument 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 cluster i could have got that i could i knew that word for sure Uh, they gave it towing technology and up to 14 available camera views 14 dude Is that Dundon? I don't think so. You got to see everywhere on the road. There's crazy drivers out there. The old phones, they take everything from us nowadays. And what better way to roll up to a tailgate than in a Chevy Silverado boasting a large and functional bed, a larger, more functional bed than any competitor. Head over to Chevy.com to learn more about Chevy Silverado. For JD Power 2022 U.S. award information, visit jdpower.com slash awards. And we're back. We're just yes. like that. We're back, dude. My reading skills. It's been a tough camp. A lot of heads getting clanked, dude. A My reading, reading comprehension is just a lot of reading down going on. Hill, dude. And with the season, so many things happen. And one thing that happened to me was the most FOMO in the entire world. So I'm going to give the floor to you. Maybe give it to the boys. I need to hear about what happened at Nebraska because the boys want to know in America. We are one to know on American soil. Which is all that really matters. Yes, that is all that really matters. And not to mention, since week one has started, the actual week one of college football season, Mm -hmm. the boys are 1-0. Yes, it got a little dicey. At halftime, it was 7-7. North Dakota thought they were the 86 Bears. Mm -hmm. You know those boys were on the sideline going like, hey, we knew it was going to be a dogfight. We knew it was going to be a dogfight. Right. But fourth quarter, end of the third, fourth quarter. Move it out your face. Move it out your face. 21 unanswered. We need every quarter to look like the fourth quarter moving forward Mm -hmm. because the boys have talent. We just got to play better. We just got to play better complimentary football. No question. But with that said, an absolutely electric weekend. And it seemed like in that first week, I don't want to bring up bad stuff, but it was, in for, it was on foreign it's soil. Okay. You, yeah, bring up whatever you want. Yeah, it was, on, it was on foreign soil, and it seemed like a lot of uh, last last season's glitches were really showing up. Special teams leaving it in the hands of the refs. Mm. I mean, as long as Nebraska doesn't leave it in the hands of the refs, they can win the rest of their games. 11 and 1 is still out in front of us. Still out in front of us. I would say 10 and 2. I understand. Yeah. Fair. You're wearing blue for a reason. <laughs> Just like that. Taylor, Taylor, Just by like the way, that. for those of you wondering, Taylor, what are these called, brother? A ponchos. Ponchos. Taylor got us ponchos. He got me a, a, an incredible one. I feel like Jon Snow yeah. in the Game of Thrones, yep. which House of Dragon was incredible last night. Uh, but thank you. But, and yeah. I think you look the, fantastic. Thank you. Your boy is over on Nolensville Pike, dude, trying to find the best Mexican food in town. I'll be honest with you. The, the search still continues. There's, I haven't found Talk one. Nashville? Nashville. I thought you loved Chewy's. No. You Chewy's is tex you no. literally always talk about what? Chewy's. When I first got here, I was huh? like, yo, where's the spot? You're like, oh, no, dude. The boys go to Chewy's all the time. Yeah, the boys go to Chewy's when we're fucking slammed and we oh. want to get ourselves a little pollo fundito or something like that, dude. But really, it ain't like that out here. I don't know where the best Mexican spots are, but please just house the bustin' with the boys' DMs. Is your boys off social media right now? And we probably should check that in a little bit. Your boys hey, off social um, media. What about San Anejo? Garbage. 
You've been, you've been to San Anejo? Uh, yeah, I've been to San Anejo. M Street, Anejo. M Street is Fire. straight, dude. Here's my issue on M Street. Let us wear fucking hats, dude. Don't be losers about that. And there's something else. There's another rule. Something about no jeans, no shorts. You can't wear hats and shorts. You're not better than people. You're just not. You're not no yeah, especially no jean shorts. You can't wear just, hats on M Street? You, no, you can't wear hats. Well, you walk into Virago, I think Virago moves, but you walk into Virago back in the day, they'd say, Oh, welcome, hi, how many? Okay, could you please uh take your hat off for us? And it's just like, listen. That's a vibe killer. I've been wearing this thing for three hours. Been, my hair's matted to the floor right now. Like, let's just let me wear the thing mm -hmm. and give me that little hot rock to put my fucking pieces of steak on it so I can warm it up and let That's it cost fire. seventy dollars. That shit's fire. That's fire. But it's more of like a do it yourself thing, like just cook the steak for me. Yeah, but also that's kind of fire. Yeah. Uh Kane Prime. Rips. Kane Fucking Prime's rips. My favorite. But here's my issue in San Anejo. When I walk into a Mexican spot, boss, stop me whenever. When I walk into a Mexican spot, <laughs> I need the people around me to speak the most broken English ever. I need that menu to have numbers on them. I don't want, I need, I want to say, Hey, I want the 17, no cheese. Or I want the 17, hold the tomatoes. And at, without even asking, I'm going to need that chips and salsa out of my, on, on my plate. I don't want nice shit. I don't want fucking, I want this place to be a hole in the wall. If it's in a strip mall, even fucking better, dude. So your boy was out there in Nolensville Pike, took my kids and my wife. We cruised over to a place that I thought had some promise. I walked in. I said, oh, we might have something here, boys. We might fucking have something. Sit down, pull out the menu. The whole menu wasn't numbered, but there was a combo part in the back that did. So I was like, all right. Brought out the chips and salsa. Chips and salsa were garbage. Absolute trash. The food, garbage. So I want to get a poncho. I went over to Plaza Mariachi. For those of you who have not been to Plaza Mariachi, it's maybe the biggest fucking sleeper. That's that's a shout out, no free shout out. Without even, I just realized it's in my head right now. Mar Plaza Mariachi is a place where every Hispanic person must go, dude. Because I was like the only white person in there. I'm 36% Mexican, but I was the only white person there. I walk in, dude, and there's a lady up on stage singing there's only tequila at the bar. They have these little shops that I have to wedge in between just to find out where I'm going. My kids are playing with fucking all the trinkets. It was an absolute stress massacre. But I ended up getting the two ponchos. I was just going to buy one. But I saw the wolves and I thought to myself, Willie's really going to like this. He might, it might not be his style, but he's really going to appreciate it. And look at you, dude. You look cute as fuck right now. Yeah, and he, look, he looks cute as Does he not look cute as fuck? Look at him with the fur around his head. <laughs> That's a cute boy. Oh my God, dude. Anytime we can uni up, and do something together. I'm always about. Here it. we are. Yeah, I'm waiting for Whether some bust not, with like the boys ponchos though. You? Did I say something? Some tickle down there. No, I got a woo in the back, dude. Blast Here we go. Up. <laughs> you know, hey, that was a funny little blast joke too earlier. What's, oh, stop me whenever. Stop me whenever. Hey, boss. Yeah, what's the best Mexican spot in town? There's gotta be a couple spots. Uh, I tried to place. Look, this. the whole boss is, is racist. <laughs> he was, he's racist against the Mexicans. Listen, I'm not, I'm not here for any of that, Blush. You can come. Yeah, come yeah you're right. Hey, I shouldn't. Have, we probably should cut that, right? I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> no, you're good. You I can probably shouldn't have said that. You can he did say I am. Whoa, As I was walking to the bus, I did say that. I'm pretty hard on my, uh, my Hispanic culture. That's for sure. Why? The standards high. Exactly. The standards high. You know, Blush is about standards. He's a military guy. There's no question. There's you a, make your bed every day. Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, he seems like a bed maker. Yeah. Um, what I was gonna tell you, Taylor, is you know, you know a Hispanic, like a, a Mexican dude. restaurant's pretty trash when your tacos come out on that that silver tray. Yeah, got the each individual taco mm -hmm. thing. You know, right there, you can just you, you can, can leave. leave. You can leave. Ask right for there. the check right there. Go yeah. find another place to eat because you want your tacos. You don't want to. You want to know. You don't want to know where it starts and where it ends. You just like you see a bunch of fucking condiments on top, and hopefully you grab the right taco. <laughs> hopefully you grab. You know what I'm saying? Your boys. From Arizona, I'm a little snobby when it comes to Mexican food. I haven't found a good spot around here. And this guy fucking talking about Chewy's. Woof. I'm just saying the only oh. time I, I've, I've heard you, I've never been to Chewy's. Chewy's is straight. Like, like when I was straight. here back in 18, you were talking up Chewy's. Yeah, when I'm at Losers and I'm just bagged and I need to find a good little thing to eat. That's okay. You corrected that. All like right. this guy over here saying I'm talking about Chewy's. I'm like, oh, that's what you said. That's what you said. <laughs> So fucking, I have take the take the reins here, bud. Tell me about Nebraska, because FOMO, my heart, my heart's sinking. Because I see the boys are hurting in the back right now. Put it like this. Put it like this. You know, if Rabel's big saying, "We're gonna treat you how you treat the team." Right. Nebraska treats us how we treat them. Fuck. Dude. And it is. Maybe, uh, yeah, dude, it's yeah. a big. Taylor, big red. Taylor, Go brother, big red. The vibes. The vibes are so high in Nebraska. God. Like, it's like a sandbox there, bro. Like, the trumpet, the Willie trumpet thing, they brought that to... They, it was their idea. Really? Yeah. They said, like, hey, we want you to play the trumpet? Yeah, they're like, hey, you think Will would be up for this? I, I want to say Jack or somebody came in because we're in the training room. 
Um, and Jack, I, it was you who came in, right? And they, they're like, hey, Will, I think they're going to ask you to maybe get in the band or like do a trumpet thing. And they're kind of doubtful on you might do it. And I just told him like, oh, no, he'll do it. I was like, fuck yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. And so they're like, hey, you can, uh, at first they're like, do you want to do the tunnel walk? And I was like, all right, <laughs> stuff's going a little too far. What's the tunnel walk? The tunnel walk's where they come out on the red carpet and all the players, like me being involved, like walking. And I'm like, you know, like some stuff's like a blast, but some things is like, all right, I, we can't, I don't want to be this, this, yeah. uh, this selfish. I would have said, yep. <laughs> just, just front row in front of the players, in. just all just... Coming out of the tunnel, fucking Bro. hype. And all the players are super focused and you're just soaking it all I in. I know, yeah, yeah. Huh? They're like, they're like, huh? Just fucking, fucking one side, dude, yeah. get them going. Uh, and then they're like, then you can run over to uh, the band, get in the front row or front center, wherever you want to stand. The dude's got a trumpet for you and you just get up there and let it rip, do whatever you want to do. I was like, all right. Did they know that you were going to do the bam, 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 whatever the fucking... No, they just said, act like you're playing the trumpet. So yeah, I guess they knew I was going to do this. But then once the, the vibe started flowing, that was all instinct. Yeah, I saw them trying to buy into that. So they didn't plan on doing this. No, that was all instinct. Yeah, because low-key, when I saw you first going, I was like, man, that mouth does work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right, right. I, knew I was getting it I in. thought he was low-key kind of doing that. They went, oh, Will's... But I was telling that mouth go crazy. I was telling the boys, too, back in sixth grade, I, I got first share. I earned first share for one week in sixth grade. I held on to it for a week. Other than that, I floated around the three or four slot. Mm -hmm. I told them if they gave me a week, I could probably figure out that song. No yeah, problem. No question. No problem. Man, that's fucking but it was cool. Hype. And then we stood there. We just got absolutely burnt for the first half. It was like 80, a cool 86 degrees. You had a nice breeze, but you know how it is when you're on the turf. You just feel the sun like it's yeah, right it's on top. Yeah, it's beaming you. Yeah. You know, it, it kind of reminds me of like a lamp that just sits on those little ducks when they're just born. Yeah. It feels like that's how close it is. Okay. Absolutely. Then we go up, President Sweet. Ooh. Let me say that again. Was it your choice? Then we go up, President Sweet. Yeah. We, Are you kidding me? We get invited up to the president's box. Damn, get a bro. couple texts in my phone. I feel the vibration in my pocket. Check it out. Hey, boys, you guys want to go to the president's box? And you know, Jack was like, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> just got a straight hey, right there. Hang on. That was a straight, that was a straight ping, ping, ping. bullet. I do want to say, uh, Jackie worked his ass. All the boys worked their ass. Yeah, but I don't doubt it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, you know how J Jack can have his moments. Oh, yeah. He FaceTimed me on Saturday. For real? With a tier one. Just to say what's up to the tier one. I love that, dude. That, yeah, that was hype. Um, but and I we knew also, it too. When I looked at my phone, I knew I was like, "Oh, Jack's with somebody." And before and going up did to, it. Uh, before going like up to the box, we already had invites and tickets to uh, Larry the Cable Guy Suite. So yeah, the boy, we were we were living, bro. Like it, it couldn't have went any better. I mean, so hype. When did the first drink go down? Friday. <laughs> upon <laughs> hey, upon yeah. Upon, upon arrival. Upon arrival. I think it was. Uh... Uh, double tequila sodas at Mellow Mushrooms. Jack started off double tequila what sodas. What a fucking order, nice Jackie. Boy. Hell nice yeah, boy. dude. I'll clap by myself. Yeah. Fuck you guys, dude. Fuck you but guys. But you're also missing it. Did you hear where, where, where he said he we said were at? Uh, Mellow Mushroom. Yeah, you love that spot. I do fuck with Mellow Mushroom. Damn. And I will say, like, I've ordered... <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I will say... Um, I've ordered it here, but being there and getting the pizza, I thought yeah. it was incredible. But yeah, the double tequila soda, that kind of picked everything up a little bit. It was tough to put down. It was like all tequila. God bless. Yeah, the buy-in was there. Then we went to Berries. The vibes were high at Berries. Um, yeah. Everybody well, was great at Berries. <laughs> hey, we'll unpack that after the show. It's, there's nothing to unpack. Like, you know, I love all the fans. There's sometimes that they can it can just linger and it can be, you can yeah. be really engaged for a little bit too Barry's long. Barry's was the the bar right next to the hotel we were at. The, the graduate, football. Yeah. That was like yeah. a walking distance yeah, away. We were all the last time when yeah. we were like old boy in the corner. and Yeah. Oh, it was the same way as last time. Yeah. But the thing is, when you were there, I feel like it was a little bit harder for people to approach. Or at least y'all just were splitting up the amount of people that were there. It was just Will. So for the first 45 minutes at Barry's, it was like Will was just at a mall with a line, just taking pictures. like Presidential campaign. Oh, literally. Not only just taking pictures, but the people who just took a picture, they would just, you know, they want to have a conversation, which I get, but they want to have a conversation while the next person get a photo, and then they, then they want to have a conversation. Yeah. And so a few people get so drunk, they're like yelling at me like, hey, let me get that hat. Let me buy it up off you. Right. I'll trade you hats. I'm like, hey, my man, I'm not giving you the hat. <laughs> like, I'm not giving you this hat. That's a tough deal when you have to tell people no on the hat. Yeah, for sure. And then you see eventually they end up getting kicked out, not because of that stuff, but because they're just like too drunk. So it's just like everybody was excited. Yeah. And the hotel we were staying at, that was where all of North Dakota fans were staying at. So literally, we were like, all right, let, North yeah, Dakota the team. team. Yeah. Do you all stay at the same hotel as last time we were there? It's a fire spot. Jack, the graduate, right? That's where we yeah, stayed Jack at. Jack was ready to make such a boy move. He was like, hey, you want me to go yank the fire alarm at 3 a.m.? 
didn't end up happening, but I was like, yo, bro, that's such a fucking... You should have done that. Way to be on your toes been, quick. Yeah. Would have been legendary. Not, yeah. I got it. So for 45 minutes, you're catching heat. I'm sure the first 20 minutes there, you're like, this is fire. Yeah, when you first get up, obviously yeah. you're walking in, you're very fired up to be there. But there was just a lot. Yeah, yeah. It was a lot of North Dakota fans because we went down when the elevator doors opened and we saw the entire lobby was flooded with North Dakota fans. Mm -hmm. We just immediately make a trip. Y'all ready to get your ass whooped tomorrow? But then people are like, oh, bustle with the boys. I was like, okay, sweet. Okay. Hey, hey, hey we're oh, boys. Yeah, 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 we're, we're, home now, so we're coming out with North Dakota merch this week. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Hey, but Will, Will wouldn't say this because he's a humble cat, but I am dead serious when I say this. Will is legitimately an A-list celebrity in Lincoln, Nebraska. Oh, like, there's no doubt. He can't walk 10 feet in Lincoln on a game day Make me blush. without people just, Will, the boy, that one dude, year 10. Yeah, fuck. Bro, we were yeah. driving a golf cart. And literally, as the drive, how'd you all get the golf cart? The guy, because that was a request of ours. We're like, here's how, because we had to go set up the a request. We had to set up the bus. We had to go to the players' lounge. They, the boys, had to set up everything. But we go to the players' lounge to do to do Larry in the middle of the tailgate mm. from like eleven to. I mean, we basically almost ran an hour. So you're half in the bag when you do that, Larry. Yeah, and then um, we get back for the unity walk in time at twelve twenty. So the an ask right away was like, hey, do you think we could have like a golf cart? to get us through everything. A uh, shout out Ashley for escorting us around everywhere. Uh, so yeah, that's how we got that. But we're in a golf cart going to the tailgate. This dude sees it all coming. He's like, pull out Willie, you're 10. He's like, hey, you're 10, right? I was like, yeah, you're 10. And he was like, as we're driving, and then as he just goes by, he just goes, man, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> just hyped. <laughs> just hyped that you're 10 alive, it. yeah. God, that fires but me bro, up. Bro, the energy dude. was it, it was it was massive. It was Lincoln, so Nebraska, fun, dude, it's a tough place to play. Shout out North Dakota for even hanging around. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. But also North Dakota, I feel like North Dakota, like when you live in the Dakotas, you root for your team that's there. But I feel like their second favorite team's Nebraska. So I feel like everybody was just so fired up just to go be at Memorial. God, and what, you're a, right, what a legendary! Jared made the comment. We need to have the uh, opponent section on the other side of the stadium so they can get direct sunlight on them the entire time. They're like, most of them are shaded. The other the first people have the shade. Put them in the worst possible situation. Yeah, we need to put them in the worst spot. We need to. Got to. Have but, to. But dude, it was awesome. Like they just treat the fellas well. They like, you know, people remember and I'm like, I'm talking about the people working at the facility. Like they just know they're with the crew. Like they treat them so well. Like, you know how it is, bro. We were there in the spring. They're just so dope to the us. The boys are, honestly, I'm a huge Nebraska fan after even just going there. And the people, like, I'm not going to just get completely redundant on everything you just said, but it's unbelievable. It was, I can't imagine. Yeah, man, it was, it was a lot of fun. And I can't wait to the first time, like, you know, whenever the time is where you hang up the cleats and we get to go Six as a seven duo. Seven years from now, you got yeah. it. Uh, yeah, as a duo, it's just, it's going to be electric, bro. I can't uh, wait. To what, was your, what was your favorite part of the trip? Man. You look Here so we go. good I in that like poncho. I'm about to do a fucking shout out right now or a tear talk. I don't even have a shout out this week. Think about it. We interrupt this episode to bring you the Game Time app. This exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports, created by fans for fans. Game Time is a new ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows, and they guarantee the lowest price. It is week one of the NFL season. It is time to buy your tickets on the Game Time app because this is a, it's last minute tickets, lowest prices, guaranteed. Download the Game Time app. Uh, to, to download the Game Time app, go to the account tab. Create a login and redeem code BUSSIN, that's B-U-S-S-I-N, for $20 off your first purchase, terms apply. Download Game Time, last minute tickets, lowest prices, guaranteed. Back to the episode. I would say it wasn't gonna be, but after the interview, the label, Larry the Cable Guy interview, just because we're talking about Blue Collar Comedy Tour, there's a lot of like nostalgia coming back. And the way he was telling the stories about like, you know, how Larry the Cable Guy started based off of a radio show and everything else. I felt like a kid in the candy store, but it's hard to beat like the love we had got, bro. I mean, the love that was, that was happening. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's an all time. That's a shout out, no free shout out. Yeah, so. absolutely. Was, uh, when you got after the game, when you guys went out, I want the boys to tell me about the vibe out there. Was it like Skeeps? The vibe was kind of low after the game because you know that 2.30 kickoff by yeah. like 6.30, you're drained from the sun. That's tough, that's tough for you to hear. But, 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 I know but, 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 know, like, hey. So we go back to the hotel. We kind of like catch a little like hour nap, whatever, shower. And then we go out to eat. And we really haven't even talked if we're going out or not. But then... Um, you have to. What? Go out. But then Audi with Open Doors, Will's boy, came and met us with one of his friends. And that kind of shifted the energy 
Also won some money at the uh, the restaurant. <laughs> ah, big. So, Should have won yeah, 500, did, but I won 100. Anyways, so we go back to Barry's, and there's a line, like, around the corner. And this is when the energy immediately shifted towards, oh, we're having a night. We just skipped the entire line of, like, 50, 60 people. Oh, my. And then on top of that, they're like, hey, do y'all just want a booth, like, in the private section oh. at the club? So we wait, they were like, oh, like they're all full. So we're like, okay, we'll just hang around. And five minutes later, they go, hey, we got a booth for y'all. They get the first round of drinks and shots on them. Oh. And then they, and then they, they bring a compliment. Drinks and shots or drinks? Yeah. drinks that were shots. shots. Compl and then a complimentary bottle of champagne. Yeah. And then oh we were just, God. we had bottle service going. And then we had like 10, 15 <laughs> private wristbands. So we're just bringing up whoever we want. And the best part about it is the That's fine and all the moms. Security guards are on our team, so any person that Will didn't want in our section, he'd point at him and go, Jack, get him out. I Jack go to was the guy. Jack, Jack was, the, was guy. the guy. Well, not the guy that kicked him out. I'm just the guy going and telling the security guard, hey, get this guy out. So by the end of the night, me and my boy Ryan, shout out Ryan at Barry's, he's just kicking guys out left and right that are drunk. He's like, this guy, this guy. And then me and Will play a funny joke and, and try and get JP kicked out of the section. and. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, then it turns on us and he's like, all right, fine, I'm fucking out of here. We're like, whoa, whoa, no, JP, don't leave. It Damn. was a good time. The vibes were all time. Uh, everyone's energy was just back. And yeah, man. So it, tell Taylor what he wants to know. Skeeps? What, what was the what was the consensus? Man. No, 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 I'm not trying. It's, when we went to Michigan, it was totally different than that game day vibe. I just want to know, because when we went to Nebraska, the whole thing that was like, hey, we can't really evaluate how good the nightlife is is because they were on spring break. I just want to know if it fucking punched up or what. I, let JP or Gary take this. Fuck, I, I want another opinion. Got a solid they, word count. both yeah. electric vibes, but I, I can't I'll put it I like this here. I can say it because I, you know. Right. You're, you're. I know I'm biased. I know I'm very biased. But maybe they might share the same thought. The vibes are extremely high going out in Nebraska. Like, it, it, it'll, it's going to be a great time no matter what. But going to, it's called Skeeps, right? That place. Yeah. It's called like a... It, it's, it's called Scorekeepers. Score yeah. Scorekeeper, yeah. But being at that place, uh, like a two-level spot where it's opened up and the fucking crowd's right there, the mm. energy, I feel like there was better than an energy that we had, uh, like, at Nebraska. The energy was still high, yeah. but it's just... The whole vibe, you yeah. felt like you were at more of a real college double decker bar. Yeah. Versus being at a, like Barry's, like er, stuff's kind of separated. The rooftop's really cool. But again, like things are separated where Skeeps, I feel like the, all the energy is kind of intertwined in one there. area. Yeah. So, did you feel like that was like an honest yeah. assessment? Yeah. Even though and I am very the, biased. If we didn't have the VIP experience, at Barry's, it would have been skeeps all day. Yeah, all day. The, but the, the VIP, the VIP treatment actually like helped because yeah. we would have just been like Being mobbed. Yeah, the, the whole time. So it was like the vibe. Hey, was a good vibe. dude. Yeah. I can't wait till y'all go to Michigan, Nebraska, November twelfth. <laughs> I know, I, dude. I know we're fired up in Nebraska, dude. People are gonna already traveling. They were talking about it at the tailgate. Mm -hmm. Like I do, just think it's gonna be a good vibe, man. Are you gonna wear Michigan stuff? No, it's a home. It's a home team. I know. Like, listen, I wish Michigan the best this year. I really do. Like, yeah. I, I, hey, go blue after go red. Go big red. Yeah, I'm the same way, like, except opposite. Yeah. And obviously, like, I, I want us to beat the shit out of you guys. Yeah, but, but that, won't, wish, that won't happen. Yeah, but I wish you guys the best, but I won't be wearing blue. I, it's, that goes against everything I'm about. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is a, this is a blue colored poncho. It's phenomenal poncho, but it's a gift by you. Mm. If it had M on it, like, I wouldn't be sitting here with the... You wouldn't? No. If you gave me a red or uh, a red N, I'd wear it. Yeah, if we're again, if we're unit up, double teaming this thing, yeah. of course I would do that. Yeah. If you're wearing red and I'm wearing blue. But you know I'm not just gonna go full heel and go against my boys. Dude. No question. Because we got like we just gotta figure some shit out in house. When we when y'all were in Nebraska, did you take care of business? What do you mean? Did you get that signature we need? Mm. So uh oh. We're going to get... Bro, you look like Derek with his new haircut. He's fucking 24-7 just doing that. I know. I, I keep Pulling talking and it sneaks face. up and it's like getting in my mouth and stuff. Am I about to be upset? You know, I, I've thought about this. I thought about this this morning. I'm like, man, you know, it's going to be a bummer when I have to deliver this news. It's not... It's ultimately not going to be a bummer because I feel very good about it. I think what the issue is, and I can face this head on with the boys, is they're hesitant on doing it and like... Being like, oh, we're 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 focused on some uh, trophy versus being focused on the season because of what happened in week zero. 
So the vibes were a little off kill being there. You know what I mean? There, it wasn't like there was a cloud there. It's just I didn't want to be this rah rah, you know, goofy dude trying to approach like, hey, let's let's get this thing settled before they play North Dakota. Um, I was trying to wait for it after North Dakota, but again, the comment was made to me. Who made it to you? I won't say the comment. I'll tell you after the show. Okay. But uh, I think it's going to happen. I, I know it's going to happen. Not that I think. I know it's going to happen. I, I've talked to the boys. I think the whole thing is like the miss where the misconception is, is like, hey, we don't want to like be bragging or like make something out of the trophy like after week zero, which I get and I understand. 100%. This is something that should have been done in the offseason anyway. Uh, but it's like, you know, they think that we might be blowing it up saying like, oh, they're doing X, Y, and Z. And I, to me, I feel like we can just, no, we can, we just need signatures, signatures because it helps us make the trophy. Right. Like, that's all we need. We just need to know that's going to be a real thing. The thing that worries me is if it's taking this long for Nebraska, when we get that information and go give it to Michigan, how long is it going to take Michigan? Well, you guys, I mean, fuck, you guys won what? 55 to nothing? Three. They, they, they scored three when our threes were in. Michigan took care of business this weekend. They, Mich, Michigan did exactly what we all expected them to do. You know? Yeah. Just handle their business. We need a lot them of question marks on the defensive line of who's going to take over. It was just a slew of gentlemen meeting the quarterback. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I'm glad you guys are handling business. We need you guys to, because you guys didn't even carry the fucking torch. Oh, no question. You know what I mean? We need some heavy hit. We need some hunters going into this Big Ten conference. Uh, Michigan is real set up to be 11 and 0 going into Ohio State. Now, this is just a fan speaking. I know there's all, there, every every week's new and all that bullshit. Hang on, hang all, on. Hang on. 11 and 0 going in. You guys play what game? Do you guys play Ohio State? Always the last game of the year. But is that? That'll be the Beijing oh, yeah, Championship. Yeah. Whoever wins that's going to the Beijing Championship. I don't know what I'm thinking about. My like, fault. yeah, I mean. 11 and 0 going into Ohio State. I, it just, you know. What's your guys' schedule? It's pretty, it's a pretty, like, fair schedule for us. Right, it's a schedule you look at, you're like, all right, this is favorable to go undefeated. If you look at the, the teams that could give us issues, I would say Michigan State. That's going to be October 29th. Yeah, and... And we play Connecticut, donkey. Iowa, good team, donkey. Uh, if I was oh, we play high, Hawaii seven next. Three. Huh? Must have defense, but they they only won seven to three. Out of touchdown. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure. Wait, who? You talking about? Uh, they were saying that. Who won? How do you pull that off? That's what I'm saying. Two safeties be, and a field goal? That's what I didn't even see it, but I saw they didn't score a touchdown. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, if it's two safeties and a field goal. What a ridiculous... Imagine betting that. <laughs> I know, I know. Just and, and it happening. Yeah, so I, I, so I, when you look at Michigan's schedule, listen, the boys are going to do what they got to do. Harbaugh's going to keep those guys focused week in and week out. You had a good Hawaii team coming in. They're probably already here working through it, getting through the time change. They're going to be ready to play. No, you guys are going to drag Hawaii. Let's yep. call what it is, yep. bro. Yep. Yep. You guys are going to beat yep. the shit out of Hawaii. And yep. I, you, you got to like it. Harbaugh, he's a great, he's a good head coach. He's a great head coach. Great head coach. Uh, and you want him, you know, he's leading the boys. And then after talking to you, what's the running back's name? I know I asked you Blake, this. Blake, Blake Corum. Corum. Like, Wait, did you see that hurdle? We were with Blake. He's not a tall dude. Yeah, but. But he fucking put the bunnies on that dude. And listening to his, like, determination and just everything for being a yeah. young cat, I'm like, these, this, it's going to be, a, they're a good team. My biggest worry was the defensive line. Because, yeah, Aiden, who, who left, he was, like, obviously. And then him and um, Ajabo. Who was a stud? Well, should have been a first round pick, but he tore his Achilles in, in, in the in the while we were there, bro. But if it seemed like they really figured it out, whoever the DC, who's the DC of uh, Michigan? Because he was dialing up some blitzes, putting putting those poor offensive linemen in an absolute blender Love for that. four quarters. Penn State. I mean, you never know. They beat Purdue. Is it at Penn State? Jesse Minter. Yeah, it's at it's at Penn State. Shout out Jesse Minter, dude. What a no, no, great it's at Michigan. It's at Michigan. Is that Michigan? Dumb. Yeah. Penn State's a hard place to play, dude. But you're hoping that Penn State wins, like win, like you, hopefully both of you guys are undefeated playing. Oh yeah, no question. I'm just talking about I'm talking about the Big Ten Conference as a whole. Yeah, after watching Georgia against Oregon, holy Good fuck, God, dude, bro. I wanted them to win so bad. All their tight ends, they have like three tight ends. They can literally go 13 personnel the entire game and just dust people in the passing game. Georgia, bro. Georgia, Alabama, a lot of dogs. and Alabama stole their like Georgia's best two players. And now they're at Alabama this year. Yeah. Uh, apparently Alabama. Ben Jones is out there saying, I'm scared of Alabama. 
Yeah, of course they yeah, made I mean, a big statement. Shit out of Oregon. But it's also the Pac-12 or but 10. But hang on now. Here, here. USC. Were ranked but I love USC. And Bloss just said USC. I love USC. When I was in high school, it was USC, Texas, any SEC school besides Vanderbilt or Kentucky. That's where I wanted to go. Pete Carroll, Colt McCoy, but USC hasn't been legit until since we were in, Will and I were in high school. Again? No. Who'd they play? Ice. Hang on, here's what, here's what we can say about USC. They've had good recruiting classes. Now Lincoln Riley's there with that high-powered offense yeah, from Oklahoma. Stud. He's a stud. So he could, like, there's a lot of optimism after that first game because they just beat the shit out of Rice. Now you guys got, uh, you just mentioned a team that you guys got coming up in about two weeks. Oklahoma. Mm. How do we we got to focus on Georgia Southern first. After these first couple weeks, boys, nah, not, that we're in a, not that we're in a situation. We just need consistent football. If it's not football. special teams or, or you put in the hands of the refs, you guys could win every game. Every game. But all I'm saying when I say that is we need to put together four good quarters of football. Like, we got to focus not on – not we don't, we don't need to focus on Georgia Southern. We need to focus on that game because we got to focus on ourselves. With Oklahoma coming that. into town, I love that. we got to be ready to go because the product we're putting out on the field right now, I don't know if we're beating Oklahoma. So we, the boys just got to tighten up. I believe we're going to. I, think any, I just don't want to think ahead. I think any Nebraska fan listening to this right now should appreciate you speaking so candidly. I mean, that was beautifully said. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, absolutely. And what I was going to say about Oregon, too, why it's, uh, it's such a, so impressive by Georgia, is I was listening to uh, one of the sports shows this morning, but apparently Oregon's had, like, a top-10 recruiting class, like, the last three or four years. So they have talent there. I mean, I what you mean by Pac-12? Like, yeah, they're, like, the, they're Michigan like the little... Had a, Michigan had top-10 recruiting football. classes every year I was at Michigan. And we were never them. Yeah, but you guys didn't have uh, Harbaugh as your head coach. True. Harbaugh's a stud. So, Harbaugh... <laughs> is really becoming what everybody wanted Harbaugh. Why everyone wanted Harbaugh. Mm -hmm. When I was when I was at Michigan, when I, my my uh, freshman year, they had Rich Rodriguez and they're like, where's Harbaugh? We want Harbaugh. And they fired him and they got Brady Hogan. They're like, we want Harbaugh. Right, and I they, remember you know that too, It was yeah. always, we want Harbaugh. Always, always, always. Hey, I think it's a consensus shout out, no free shout out from everybody, but we're in week one of the NFL season this week, boys. <laughs> we've survived, we've made it. All football's coming together as a... Sitting there knowing I'm going to be watching them games, I'm fucking fired the fuck up. Only for a couple of months, though. Yeah, when December comes. Yeah. You know, we know how it changes, but yeah. as a fan in the well, month I think of, of you just as like in this like, like this little capsule, dude, and there's water all around you and there's tubes everywhere. You're just fucking loading right now, dude. You're just loading. Should we do it? Yeah. One more week. That's what they're saying right like there. Vader fucking before he puts around you. On. Vitals are good. And then just wait for you to fucking get oh. Wolverine, get his animantium. Yeah. That's a great visual, it's right? Visual. Fucking Willie's gonna be out there, baby. Absolutely gonna be out there. Should we do? I mean, we don't want this to be too long, right? Well, yeah, but also the boys back. Like, I know I'm super stoked to just be on the bus with the boys right the, now. On the note of NFL, y'all want to talk about tailgates? Oh yeah, we should. Yeah, yeah this this uh, this Sunday game is at what time? Three twenty. I just found that out today. Three twenty. I thought it was at noon. So we'll be tailgating probably starting at like what one o'clock one twenty before kickoff two hours so. before kickoff love that so we'll be at Acme Feed and Seed Sunday fives will be up top floor rooftop mm. um yeah we got a lot of fun shit happening is the merch Garrett, ready yeah I was gonna say Garrett how many how many of those new shirts are gonna be there a lot there's gonna be a lot of fucking new <laughs> shirts dude there's a lot of boxes at my house right a now. a lot of boxes yeah what we some special if we sell out what do we agree on. Yeah. What do we agree on with the hats? Those hats, like we're giving away hats, or should we? We, not we need to. Uh, we can figure it out. But Basically, what I have I'll teach enough you guys on, sell, so we can figure out what right, we want. What, what I have to teach you guys on is we're going to be like giving away something to the first X amount of people who go and oh. buy uh, our new shirts, our new the boys electric lightning gladiator head titan head shirt. It's an outstanding shirt. Yeah, yeah it's, it's incredible. People, people love them. We're partnered with Whistle Pig for the tailgates too, so drink options would be Whistle Pig. Oh. And mm. um, we're going to have a Whistle Pig collab bus in shirt to give away as well. Wow. Wow. We should, get, we, should, we should do a couple giveaways in there. Something like, you know. Like a date oh, with nice. Playoff yeah, yeah. Willie? Like what? What? Like a date with Playoff Willie? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Something special. Dudes only. Something special. <laughs> dudes only. Or it will be dudes only. <laughs> <laughs> we knew. <laughs> I'm laughing, but I don't know what that's from. <laughs> Uh, what merch push? What's Boogie? Oh, this, yeah, that's who was on the podcast. So. Oh, he said, like, what's Boogie? And then I saw Vita, I was like, oh, shit, yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking electric podcast coming up this week, or coming up in, what, the next 20 minutes, probably? May I ask, 
can can we get a pulse? Uh, can we get a pulse on the excitement going into week one? It's okay if not, because I know we haven't done any like meeting meeting before the pod. Can we look forward to the boy? Can we look forward to the boy being with us all year long? Oh, on podcast? Yeah. Like, like an Aaron Rodgers announcement. I saw Pat McAfee saying the official announcement, Aaron Rodgers will be with us all year long. Can we look forward to the boy being with us for, you know? I would like to say for the remainder of the season, I will be joining Bustin' with the Boys each week, win or loss, for 20 to 30 minutes on intros. Yeah! A lot of people are mad right now. A lot of fucking guys are mad right now. A lot of haters, oh, man. But there's a there's a fucking giveaway, dude. Your boy's on social media. Your boy's not on social media, so I got to scratch that itch somehow. Here we are. It's crazy as you're not on social media. I saw some Bud Light tweet go out last week. <laughs> you saw that? Yeah. Sometimes when you're sponsored, you got to do what you got to do. Hey, sometimes you gotta, I had to prove I had to prove the tweet. Listen, Bud Light is outstanding. What a what a absolute vessel of a way to get a little courage up, feel great, taste great, and go out with the boys. Bud Light just screams happiness. It really does. It gave us some good content. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> I walked in the equipment room and all the boys were like, you see yeah, your boy? Your boy soiling you? And I was like, for what? And you were fucking killing me because I couldn't promote busting yeah. with the boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just 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 people come to me and be like, you see what your boy Willie did? <laughs> you see what your boy Willie's up to? Because I was trying to show everybody that video today that you sent me of the that shit. Yeah. And I was trying to show people, everyone's like, yeah, he tweeted that. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, oh, this is old news to everyone, dude. Yeah, yeah, I was just see my stoked. boy over the weekend. I was yeah. just fucking stoked, dude. But yeah, the season is upon us, boys. Yes. Are we able to dive in on any of that stuff? You ask me whatever you want. So are, let's gauge the pulse. Are we, how, we, how excited are we? Like, I'll be out there. I'll be out there at left tackle. Just... Are you ready to take souls? We'll see. Thanos? I'm stoked for this yeah, game. Yeah. I'm fucking, I'm, hey, the, I'm stoked for this game. Did All you, the boys are stoked. Did you acquire your last stone in training camp? Are we taking souls? I think the boys are, I think the boys had a good fucking day of practice today. And usually when you have to take a weekend off, we took Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Thursday, sorry, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. Usually it's lackluster. A lot of energy today from the boys. Love to hear that. And you are dialed in because I tried getting your ass to Nebraska because I knew the boys have a Labor Day weekend off. Let me try and finagle up. Yeah. Taylor up to Lincoln. be honest with you, I would have lo- I would have loved to go. Bro, I mean <laughs> is that standing? Understand, but missed up. Yeah, missed up big time. Yeah, missed up, but I understand. Six, seven years from now, I'm in. Yeah, yeah. You got a lot of you got obviously bigger fish to fry. No question. But you would have been right there with me. We'd have just been in sync going Dude, fucking two let's trumpets. Go. I would have not have been in there, would I have? Nebraska's yeah, like absolutely. that. They would have definitely been like, yeah. Yeah, Trump these boys, dude. Yeah, you'd have been in there. <laughs> <Forty. laughs> <laughs> Will's just still fucking living it. Still just you living think the dream. Guys in Nebraska, like everyone fucking loves you in Nebraska, but I guarantee there's two players or three that are like, who the fuck is this guy? No doubt. Yeah, no yeah. doubt. No doubt. There's some haters. I will out there. say when we uh when we walked the hall and all the shot. boys were coming down for meetings, there's a lot of love. Cause I do feel that. Like I know how I was as a player. And who when the you fuck have, is this guy? When, yeah, when you have old heads coming around and say, All right, man, we get it. Like you had your time. Right. But I will say I felt like the vibes were high when I was in front of them all. I love so it. You never know. They yeah, because be they're not gonna they may be two faced as hell. Right. There's a couple guys out there like fucking Will. Because I definitely think about it, and you're right. Like we, you see it, I just pull air out of my <laughs> yeah, mouth. yeah. Because you did like we were those, we were we were in those locker rooms, and when the old heads would come around, but usually they're on some motivational shit. Maybe mm-hmm. the boys just love kind of like the. Maybe they love it. Yeah, maybe who knows? They're just fucking about it, dude. Yeah. Oh, you know, Gary Nelson loves it. Gary, it was like, he was the boy stoked. How'd the boy play? Yeah, he had a good game. The sack. I saw him. In, I saw him in the first quarter just absolutely run through somebody to make a TFL on the other side. He was left in, fucking ran through the tackle and made a TFL on the right side. Mm. Chase at the depth of the ball. Hands to the chest, hands inside, used his length. No. Yeah. Very would have loved it. He would have had a boner football the whole porn. Time watching that tape. Yeah. That would have been a football porn. Yeah. That would have been up on the next meeting on Monday. For sure. For sure. I fucking love that, dude. Shall I we? I love it. Yeah, absolutely. Is that what you're wanting to? I don't know for sure. Yeah. Favorite segment? We? I don't have one. You don't have one? You'll come up with one. I can come up with one right now. Absolutely. Take it off, baby. We interrupt this uh, podcast to bring you another ad, and that is Roman Swipes. Roman Swipes are convenient, over-the-counter t- over wipes that are clinically proven to help 
you last longer in bed. They are uniquely formulated to reduce overstimulation without eliminating sensation altogether. In a 2019 study, they were proven to increase time to orgasm by more than four times. That would be an entire minute for me. To use, just remove the disposable swipe from a from its discreet pocket size pack, wipe on the most sensitive part of your penis, for those of you who are wondering, that's the tip, and allow to dry for about five minutes. <laughs> this is so... <laughs> just look over it, bro. <laughs> just look it over, bro. <laughs> Uh, when used as di- uh, when used as directed, Roman swipes leave no scent or taste, so there is no transfer to your partner. They are safe, effective, and no prescription is needed. All swipe, all swipes orders include free two day shipping. That's quick, baby, and arrive in unmarked packaging, so mommy and daddy won't know what you ordered. Try today for as little as two seventy five per swipe. That's Roman swipes. We're just going to put this up on my now for everyone. <laughs> Try Swipe today with a special offer. Just, just for our listeners, get 20% off your first order at GetRoman.com slash Bussin' Boys today. That's GetRoman.com slash Bussin' Boys today. You like that one? Back to this family's podcast. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our favorite segment of the week. Shout out. Of the week. Let's go, boys. As always, we start out with the man. As long as Will doesn't speak, he'll be just fine delivering his shout out. No free shout out of the week. Boss, let's hear what you got, baby. My shout out, no free shout out of the week this week goes to a specific app that kept me engaged into the uh, college football, every college football game out there. (laughs) Right. Oh, 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 there it is. And he's done, dude. He's fucking done. Oh, no. I want to shout out the the Barstool Sports app. This week, I got to place a, a few bets, but I, I targeted games that I, uh, that I wouldn't typically watch. Mm. So I was obviously excited for the big games, the Notre Dame, the USC game, you know, the Michigan game, the Nebraska game. But some games that I wasn't so, like, engaged in, I placed bets on those that kept me engaged. And it was all thanks to the Barstool Sports app. So my shout out, no free shout out, goes to the Barstool Sports app. That's an outstanding shout out. Outstanding dick That's riding an shout out. Outstanding one. Next up to his left, stay our right, <laughs> the milf hunter himself, Jackie Boy. What you got? All right, so we're talking about uh, Sunday, first game of the regular season. We're all so stoked. But last night, I had my fantasy football draft, and mm. bro, if we aren't back. I mean, we're just so fucking here. When you get in there, we, we had all the boys over at my house. We got three guys that are out of state, so we Zoomed them in. Seven other guys in my crib. We got the laptops out. We got guys with multi-screens. You know, we got them Zoomed in. We got the pizza. We got the beers. Mm. And then it's like 10 minutes before the draft starts. Your heart starts kind of beating a little fast. And I had the number one pick. But I, I was already dialed in. I knew I was taking. I was taking Jonathan Taylor. Even though I'm a Titans guy, I'm hey, taking JT. Bad. This is this is out of fandom. Hey, that's crazy. This is, you know, fandom is not attached in fantasy because it's financial. It's not fandom. So I was I, I was taking Jonathan Taylor no matter what. The kid had an outstanding season last year. He's 23. He's in a run heavy offense. I'm I'm ready. I mean, I'm just dialed. Yeah. So. <laughs> Anyways, dude, I hope you knock your two front teeth out with that fucking statement. Dude. On, here's, my, here's, my, here's my question. Is it a PPR league? Yes. That's a, I mean, that's a good pick. You can't go wrong with that I mean, pick. I, yeah, there's no other option. But, I was in the same predicament because I had the first overall pick. Who'd you pick? Christian McCaffrey. <sighs> He's on the fire. Listen, D- Derek was up there. I, I, I was really struggling internally, and I think it was personally with the whole Jonathan Taylor, Derek Henry, because I had both Derek and Jonathan last year on my team. Because Jonathan slipped and I was able to get him. And fortunately, like when Derek went down, I thought everything was over. Jonathan Taylor just comes to comes to light and saves the entire season. I ended up earning myself the first overall pick. However, I went with highest ceiling. And I think that's Christian McCaffrey because when that dude's on, he's got he's got a thousand rush, he's got a thousand receiving yards, PPR league as well. Like he's an absolute savage in the fantasy world. Yeah, I think Baker, gotta hope he doesn't get injured. I think been, Baker's gonna plug in well there. That's what I think too. And so I think that's just tough. Like obviously the injuries the last couple of years, but I think you know, you know, you know the boys grinding. So grinding. I went with the highest upside in fantasy value. Again, you had to take emotion out of it. That's why I went with Christian McCaffrey. Yeah. So, anyways, this Sunday 
will directly affect the next six months of my Sundays. So I just love that. The, this team that I chose could either make or break my entire life for the next half of the year. Um, and to me, that's special. Yeah. That's real. <laughs> Emotion is just, you know, everywhere. All the boys are dialed in. So, yeah, my shout-out, no free shout-out goes to, I guess, the NFL being back, but most importantly, my fantasy team and me taking that fucking championship, collecting the bread, and hopefully I made the right decisions. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, there's no doubt that Jonathan Taylor's a stud. There's no question about it. I hope you lose every single game. But my shout-out was going to be fantasy because we're doing our draft tonight. At the house at 7.30. Ooh, I know the vibes will be up. No, we're not piggybacking. I have to come up with a whole new one. I have to come up with a whole fucking new one, dude. But hey, listen, that's nice. Nice shout out, dude. Going back on the show. Going back on the show. It, dude, it's tough, man. The vibes are now low for mine. JP, go ahead. <laughs> so, uh, mine has nothing to do with the Titans. Um, remember, or you know, like, yeah. uh, my shout out, no free shout out, goes to, uh, well, my friend Nick actually brought this to my attention. Because I was on hold recently on the phone. And I was stuck on hold with the music playing. But some companies don't stick you on hold. They say, hey, press 9 if you would like us to call you back when, you're, when it's your turn. So my shout-out, no free shout-out, goes to the companies that don't make you stay on hold and then call you back. That's a short... I love that shout-out, man. That's a good shout-out. You always find the little creative. Yeah, dude, that was, that was creative and beautiful. Absolutely. Garrick... JP got us back on track, dude. I need you to fucking, let's bring it home, buddy. What do you got for us? I got you. My shout out, no free shout out this week, is when you're traveling. So this weekend in the hotel, I turn the TV, obviously first thing you do is crank the air down. 100%. But turn the TV on. Yeah, on its own. On its yeah. own, low key. Like, you could have ended right there. Yeah. I'm I, you did AC one day, so I didn't want to, you know, go back a little bit. Yeah, but it, was, it was the fan at Costco, but yeah. <laughs> Fire. What are you dusted? Yeah. Sorry, I'm not gonna. It's not my. It's not my time. No, you're good. But turn the TV on, flipping through channels. So my shout out, no free shout out, is when you find a movie at the beginning when you're traveling and you're able to just sit and watch the whole thing. Yes. I found Suicide Squad, and it was fire. You thought Suicide Squad was fire? It is a good movie. Hang on, hey. Yeah, it's not my place. Not my place. Not my place. Listen, dude, you like Jack Chewies. Jack really threw me off. Jack really threw me off. <laughs> you was... like Chewies and Mellow Mushroom. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm okay with both those places. <laughs> but I don't like Will putting words in my mouth like that. I'm not like putting my name behind either of those companies. That's fair. Uh, I will say, here's what hotels really need to start doing is give you the access to hit Netflix and Hulu and all that. Amen. You need to be able to sign into that every single time. If you go to a hotel and all you have is the guide, like you you have like the home screen. Yeah, you go and to the next channel, channel one. The guide. You go to channel one. It's yes. Just the rotating. It's just telling you what's what. It's like, oh, I'm fucking in for it this, this weekend or however long I'm here. Yep. Sometimes they got some banger movies on there because you're picking your poison, right? If you have Netflix and the other stuff, then you don't have those movies that are still in theaters. I did, as a kid, love the still in theaters fucking category of yeah, the movies. That was outstanding. That was outstanding, dude. Because I that feel you when you're one. in the hotel, there's like those couple things. Yeah. It's like the Netflix thing. It fires you up, if, especially if you're like binging something. But also you got to go through the process of signing in mm -hmm. using the remote, mm -hmm. which is... And sometimes that can be uh, a deal. Sometimes it can be a deal. You use the arrow, moving it all around everywhere. Then you got to yeah. text your wife, hey, what's our password? Yep. That happens to me every single time. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, think yeah. eventually I would just save it in my phone, but yeah, I don't. Exactly, yeah. I really don't. So what's the shout out, Garrett? <laughs> when you're like at a hotel and you you're or you could be at home, but you on regular TV catch a movie at the beginning. Mm. Ah, I like that. I liked it. I didn't I which suicide squad was it? First one. See, I feel like when you mentioned the Suicide Squad, it was bringing the vibe down, then it started going on a path that's like, I, it's yeah. listen, at the end of the day, the shout-out's like the vibe you get when you catch a movie at the very beginning. Yeah. Shorzy was on. Oh, my yeah. God, seriously? <laughs> yeah. Shorzy is the best uh, one-season show I've ever seen in my life. Have you guys not seen Shorzy yet? Not yet. You guys haven't watched Shorzy yet? Not yet. Fucking ridiculous. Willie? Brand new poncho. Same attitude. Let's see what you got, buddy. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, oh, my goodness. What's up, Ruli? Oh. oh my God, that baby scared the hell out of me, dude. <laughs> that baby just scared the hell out of me. Uh, Hi, girl. What's up, Ru? Bring her in here, dude. No, hang on, they can wait. They can wait their turn. <laughs> <laughs> my shout out, no free shout out, and I I, I hesitate saying the shout out because because if it's is it Jonathan Taylor? No, no. <laughs> he really, really fucked him up back stud. there, Jack. Jonathan, he's just stud. Um. But I don't know if it's going to be yours. And I know over the course of these next few weeks, I like, I don't want this to be, we'll set it so we can't, 
use this or just say it in a different vibe. But my shout out, no free shout out. We are, this is week one of September. We are a month out from this podcast. And namely, I want to credit because I know, I know what's going through your head right now. And I know it's hard, but I want to credit my man for putting me on this. The bus's favorite month, your favorite month. But the vibe knowing that we are one month out from Spooktober is my shout out, no free shout out. It's like starting to get the weather starting to a little bit break. I saw some leaves. And I, I saw some leaves go I down, hate, dude. I hate, I don't want to name, I don't want to give all the context because it's like those are shout outs in its own right. So mm -hmm. I just want to keep it true that we are being in week one of September. We are officially one week out of Spooktober. One month out. One month. Mo one month. One month. Dude, that was maybe the best. Shout out, no free shout out we've had. I know, and I didn't know where you were going to go, but I guess that's the, that's the, that's like the chance you take going, like one going to go last. There's no question. Okay. There's no, I think that's an outstanding one. I did see a couple of leaves fall, which is its own shout out, no free shout out. Mm -hmm. We're not going to get into everything. My wife actually said to me two days ago, shout out Taylor. She goes, I think I need to start ordering stuff for Spooktober. I was like, <laughs> we're here. Did we're you here. Just go? Yeah, a hundred, not that big, but yeah, well, I wish. Well, now we're killing yeah. people. Now we're killing people. <laughs> <He's> just fucking, it's <laughs> fighting you. Um, God, what a shout out, dude! And so, if, hey, get your get your decorations up by October one, because you only get thirty one days. You only get thirty one days. My shout out, no free shout out, has jumped around quite a bit during this little get little get little <laughs> thing here. It's jumped around a little bit, and I've been just absolutely playing mental warfare in my head trying to figure it out real quick. The boys are coming over for fantasy football tonight at 7.30. We're drafting. We have a good time. The loser has to do something dumb at the end. We don't play for money. We don't play for money. I'm not trying to get on that receiver from Atlanta. We just play. The boys are going to enjoy it. Uh, whoever has the first pick, if they don't take Derrick Henry, they're dead to me. Free Calvin Ridley. But <laughs> free Calvin yeah. Ridley, yeah. Free Calvin free Ridley. Free Calvin Ridley. But my shout-out, no free shout-out, of the week ahead, is, this one might be good for you, Willie. Is uh, You want to say it? Good for me? Is, this might be a nice one for you, is when you're in the season and the stress this season is hitting you, you know, week in and week out for here, from now on, it's for keeps, is the small time you get with the boys outside of the facility to mm. enjoy some camaraderie, whether it's the O-line dinner, whether it's doing the, the draft party, whether it's Derrick Henry cruising over to the house just because he wants to have dinner with Jason, our chef, and just hang out and you sit there for a couple hours and talk. So it's the camaraderie, it's the little things outside of the building that grow you closer and closer every single day. You, that's how we, that's our foundation. Mm -hmm. That's our absolute foundation. You guys, I might not be on the team. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Overall, I think it's just it's a great vibe, and it takes away that little bit of stress you get. So yeah, no, my, that's sorry. I'm sorry. My shout out is the little pieces of camaraderie you get with the boys outside of the building. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna say like that. You are right. Like it's something that helps like lower your stress. Like realize that there's you know. That you can enjoy moments because when you're in the building, especially when it's when it's fucking grindy, because it gets grindy. It gets grindy. Um, when you leave the building, and you catch those vibes with the boys. Fuck. There's there's nothing. Just there's big nothing belly there. laughs. Yeah. Just having a good time. Yeah. Just absolutely sinking into your couch, maybe watching a TV show, not saying a word. Maybe you sit with a boy for an hour and just look at your phone. It's just outstanding. Yeah, just I, I really great. love that. It's crucial. It's mm -hmm. vital to have vital. a like a uh, level headed season. Vital. <sighs> Vital. Should we bring Rue on the bus? Yeah, bring Rue on the bus. Hey, babe, come on the bus. Come on the bus. I have to open it up. It's a school bus. A poncho that Taylor got me. It was a gift. Yeah, it was a gift. Yeah. Rue's oh, on the bus. Let's go. We got, we got little Rue on the yeah. bus. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Rue, what is your uh, shout out? No free shout out of the week. Sit right there. Uh, now you're on camera. 100%. 100. You want to come see me? You keep staring over. Come on. Is, is Uncle Taylor your shout out? No free shout out of the week. There's no question. Come on. Look at this bus. Look at this baby. Hi, oh sweet gosh, girl. You no. You wanna like you wanna just like do her little do her little moaning. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Uncle T, baby. What a way. What a way to start the day. Start your week. It's Monday, right? Yeah. Labor Day. All the moms no. out there, they're working. All the moms are working today. Shout out to moms. Golf yeah, clap for the moms. Yeah, shout Golf out to the moms. Golf, Golf clap. Don't scare the baby. Don't scare the baby. This week, uh, 
on this podcast coming to you after we read this next ad is going to be Mr. Leonard Fournette and Vita Vey. Le- no, Vita Vey, Le- uh, Levante David. <laughs> oh. Right? That's what he, yeah, you he said, said Leonard Fournette. I said Leonard Fournette. Oh. Hey, By the way, the Leonard Fournette episode, account. all time. Hit her. Yeah. Mount Busmore? That, 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 I, I, I mean, we, we, it's so hard to figure I'll out. I'll tell you what, that episode will is. absolutely transcend into the abs- abyss if he actually puts us on, the, on that private jet to go have lunch with him. Yeah. At his mom's house. I know, I know. He made some promises. Yeah, he did make he some made promises. made some promises. Hi, Rudy. But yeah, the Levante David episode, Vita Vey. Vita Vey, very soft-spoken. Very soft-spoken. And you thought about five minutes in, you're like, we're going to have a tough one with this guy. Yeah, let's see. I don't know how much he was going to... We had to break through some walls. We had to... You're going to be watching. We're going to say, all right, we're going to see what kind of skills Taylor and Will really do have as interviewers because Vita Vey is so soft-spoken. And I would say we did an outstanding job. Yeah, we got some really good stuff. Some old high school stories. My man thought he was going to play linebacker at 350 pounds. Yeah, he was Uh, was not going to. An incredible story about the Super Bowl. Like him getting back right for the Super Bowl because he broke his what? His, his leg or his ankle? Ankle. Yeah, but you guys are going to love Lower it. Lower body. If you're watching right now, subscribe, rate five stars, leave a little comment. You guys know the vibes. Like jump in the comment section right now. We're here for the intro vibes. We're here for the vibes, boys. Um, yeah, have a, great, have a great time. Without further ado, no. Vita Bay, Levante David, biggest of hugs and tiniest of kisses. When we're on this, like hold that close to your lips. <laughs> what? <laughs> Freestyling. Yeah, unfortunately, like he's more of the. You, you know, this I, is your I, like, yeah, third yeah, time, yeah, right? I got it. I got. I got you. I got it's you. The first time with me on it, though. Yeah, I ain't never been on with Taylor. Yeah. And yeah. so I do just to open it up. Yeah. 2011. Yeah. 2011. Like, hey, we got to block this guy. You were number four. Wearing number four. Number four. Yeah. Hey, we got to block this guy. 27 tackles. <laughs> you the, the only guy that made a tackle the whole day because we yeah, donkeyed y'all. Yeah, true. And you guys, uh, <laughs> you remember the you meeting went the crazy. next day? I do remember the meeting. Levante was the only one talked about because even though he had 20 some tackles, like I think in the books it was like 17, 17 or some shit yeah, like that. Yeah. And literally, Bo was like, if anybody, if if we had more people in here that had half the heart of Levante David, he was a fucking warrior on the field. And the rest of you just pissed on your leg. <laughs> Bro, and the way yeah, he had to be sitting there, he couldn't be smiling or nothing. He had to be so like, bad. I felt so bad because it was a blowout. Yeah. yeah. It felt so bad. I remember like it was everything. It was just like. It was an ass one thing. The only one who showed up basically to play. It was, dude. It really was an ass, an ass beating. We beat the shit out of y'all. Yeah, but the next year? Yeah, the next year. Denar got yeah, hurt. You guys, have, mm, we already got that. People can click on whatever. We. We had Denard on. We did a spring tour thing, and yeah. we had Denard on. We we talked about that game because yeah. they had like I think they averaged like two yards a carry. The next year, the next year, yeah. yeah. You saying we Denard? Our, we you know how the black shirt game worked? That game, yeah, yeah. We were in our black shirts that game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Monte yeah. gave us the juice we needed. There's a nice little clip of me taking Will to the sideline <laughs> in the yeah. fourth quarter. In the fourth, in the fourth quarter. quarter, just trying to show the game was over. Was over already though. Yeah, we were. Wait, yeah. You guys were winning by what? Twenty one. Uh, I mean, it was like a two-score game, but you guys were running le- like late in the fourth. Like we were, you guys were trying to like get out of there. Yeah, our quarterback threw three interceptions. Yeah, yeah. immediately for negative yards. Immediately threw three interceptions. It was awful. Did Stanley catch a pick that game? I believe. Yeah, the first okay. one when Denar got yeah. hurt and they yeah. threw that first one. That's when Stanley yeah. got in. That's what I remember. Yeah. Let's get the word count up. So we're at practice yesterday, <laughs> and your big ass lines up at a five technique. And what I tell you yesterday, the day before, you, you did say something. What I say? Don't fucking line up over here. <laughs> Bro, I I gotta cut you. <laughs> I got shoot. I just gotta do what I'm told. Bro, you they ran. line up like out on a tackle. Are you like excited about that game plan, or would you rather be inside? For, you know, it just depends. I know most tackles they're gonna jump set me. Yes, just because they know I'm gonna come with power. Yeah, full rush. So they try to jump set me to stop my momentum. So. My move, I can't give away my move. You're swiping inside. Something, I'm doing, I'm doing something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, if this man's ever, like, uh, last year when we practiced against them, we were watching the film, and we're, like, going back over the film, like, hey, this is what these guys run, 42 double A, blah, blah, blah. And so, but there was one, it was, like, third and nine or whatever, and there was a tight end. And you lined up at a nine technique. Yeah. And I said, I looked at the coach and said, hey, at this Big motherfuckers out there, like, don't expect me to do my job. I'm getting, I gotta block that guy. Yeah, I think you're trying to get the call from Tannehill and then like, just call that? timeout. <laughs> I couldn't yeah. fucking. Bro, and then we were playing y'all, uh, what was it? 20, it was at our place, 2019. 19, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. in the red zone, dude, and JPP drops 
into coverage. So I went to like slam it back because yeah. it's probably pressure or something. Mm -hmm. And this man catches his arm under mine. And it was basically one of those, take me where you want. <laughs> like, yeah, you're, you're, with me. you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna take me wherever you want to go right now. <laughs> we threw a touchdown, but damn, yeah. I was in the lap of the quarterback. Yeah. Yeah. And no yeah. chance. Boogie, what we should get, what should we get into with uh Vita about? You know, Boogie, he uh he gave you the rec he gave the recommendation of you to come on the bus. Yeah, this part of me was sure. thinking, like, should we get you and Devin on? Uh -huh. And have you guys say you're the two best, the tan the best tandem in the league? Devin said he'd been on before already. Yeah. He, he via, via Zoom, via Zoom yeah. though. Oh, it was, you asking me that? No, 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 no. I'm saying, because I asked you, who do you uh, think we should get on the bus? Yeah. I you mentioned Cam Break, and I said possibly Vita Bear, because I was giving him shit. He was like, he was like, why, why would you recommend Cam? I said, he was interviewing tight ends. I, I know. <laughs> so I'm I looked him up. I was like, oh, he's just some big white tight end. And you're, you're like, oh, we've, done, <laughs> we, we've been interviewing tight ends, which is true. <laughs> yeah. We kind of need to get away with it. Okay. okay get away okay, from okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we can't just, uh, we can't be boxed in. I don't know. Heritage. What you like do? Boogie's got a talk huge about the uh, the what's, what's uh the nickname behind uh Boogie. Don't tell him that. I shit. can. It's long enough. It's been <laughs> yeah, long yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, It's been long enough. So this is a fun story, actually. <laughs> so Levante, like any young college male, <laughs> horny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And so we would always we would always joke with Boogie because you know he'd get. He'd get in, himself into some situations, and, and <laughs> Zoe would always say, "Hey, Boogie, you're like a you're like a, a pit bull with the pink thing hanging out." And we would yeah. laugh about it. And I told Boogie, "Like, I'm gonna name my first dog. I'm gonna get a pit bull, and I'm gonna name him Boogie." Which a little happened. red rocket? What's up? A little red rocket? Yeah. Out. Which happened? I got my first dog, and I named him Boogie. I remember texting Boogie and sending him a photo, like, "Hey, I named my first pit Boogie after you." <laughs> just you know, just joking. But that's how I got the nickname. That's how it kind of elevated, because Zoe always called you Boogie yeah, to begin with. Zoe, Zoe was our, our third running mate, basically, yeah. when we was in college. Yeah. yeah. But so, yeah, being horny, that's where he got the name. <laughs> you were like that in Nebraska? Like what? You know what I'm saying, horny. College. Just, you know when, you're you know when your fellas college. get into some situations, you're like, man, how'd you get, how'd you get in that, how'd you get yourself in that situation? Yeah. yeah. Everything. And so, we, you know, he would just, I came that from would Juco. be the inside joke. I came from Juco, going to Nebraska, and it's more open. I could be more freely. So, you shit. said more open, like it's yeah. the plains, like yeah. we're just running free in the plains. Yeah, like fuck, Kansas, it was, it was shit. I mean, yeah, Kansas is a fucking not a. I mean, but Nebraska is the exact same. No, it was way bigger and better than Fort Scott, Kansas. They talked about it being. I heard pretty, about yeah, Kansas. Pretty slummy. Yeah, uh, it was. It was pretty. I don't want to bash the time. I mean, they showed a lot of love when I was there, but yeah. like it was really nothing. There. It was just a Walmart there, basically. Yeah, but besides, the, like the college. I've been in Nebraska. Yeah, but is uh, you come from Miami? Yeah, that too. That had to be a huge transition oh, yeah. going from yeah, Miami it was. to Kansas. It was. It definitely was. It was. Everybody pretty much shit ball. on. Yeah. If you came from a big city or a big area, everybody pretty much shit on Lincoln, Nebraska. Where I came from, I thought Lincoln was like, "Oh fuck, this is a city," and everybody's like, "This isn't shit." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do everything here. Yeah. I mean, Lincoln wasn't bad. I guess coming from Fort Scott, going to Lincoln, I was like, "Oh yeah, happy," but. Obviously, I don't compare nothing to Miami because you know Miami is Miami. So I, I'm not I'm not going to this city thinking, oh, I get the same thing I get down in Miami. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Where'd you grow up? I grew up in California, Northern California. What part? In the Bay Area. I was born in Sacramento. Sacramento. Same, look at the boys, huh? Look at us. Find a little, <laughs> find a little ground. We're gonna yeah. break through those walls eventually. I know, right? I yeah. Feel like we gotta. I love it. Soft spoken, stud, soft spoken, stud. hard worker to to too. Yeah. You, what's that? What made you want to go to Michigan? I was a punk kid, dude, that had, wore the dicky pants halfway down his ass and like yeah. the Bam Margera t-shirt. <laughs> what was that guy you know, doing? Going to Michigan. Well, I was gonna get there, <laughs> and so I was like, I was in this like fuck where I'm from type vibe. Oh, and I was okay. like, I need to go see oh, Four Seasons. I'm gonna go somewhere else. Okay. Plus, Jake Long was like the number one overall pick. True. So I was like, I'm gonna. Go, I'm gonna go to Michigan. Okay. Michigan. Got offered by Nebraska? Yeah. I know. Michigan. We got into that because we had Bo on. Yeah. yeah. Bo talked about how he recruited Taylor. And oh, yeah. He, he was like dumbfounded at why Taylor flew over all these states and colleges to go to Nebraska. <laughs> yeah. All uh, right, Michigan. Michigan. Oh, yeah. My yeah. fault. Yeah. Where'd you go to school? Washington. Mm. University of Washington. Why don't you stay in California? I gray shirted a year. I didn't have grades coming out of high school. Yeah. And then so I gray shirted a year. And then I had a couple of offers. And then after that, something happened. And then UW was the only team that stuck with me. And that was the only visit I took. And when I went there, I was like, damn, this is a nice place. 
I was just like, I'm, I'm how do you man. not have the grades coming out of high school? It was just, I think it was just how I grew up. It was my parents from the islands. Yeah. So it was just like when I grew up in school, it was just I learned everything on my own, or not on my own, but like cousins and relatives, like we learned from each other. But it was, it was never a big thing to, like, Take your grades serious. in school were gonna get you to college. It was like yeah. if you're good at, it was always if you're good in football, you're gonna go to college. And then I realized it late, like junior year, and I was behind like credits in certain classes. Like, I didn't have a language. I never took a language. And then when I graduated a year, that's the only thing I needed. So I, I did uphold my senior year after after the football season. I did a whole bunch of like night school classes just to get into college. And the only thing I was missing was a uh, a language. And I bypassed it because I told them I was fluent in Tongan, my heritage. Yeah. And then I like I did it. I had to do like a test with like a just Tongan lady, <laughs> and like I had to do like on a computer and stuff. Just speaking tongue and they spoke to me in tongue and I like translated and then I passed it. And then at that point you you only had the one offer from uh Washington. Yep. Washington's a loud spot to play. I at. lied though. I lied. <laughs> like when like when people <laughs> I lied just to get more try to get more offers. When like I did like an interview or something, they'd, they'd always ask me, like Max Preps or something. They're like, what uh what offers you got? And I was like, Yeah, I got one from Tennessee. <laughs> no, you didn't have them. I didn't have them. I was just saying them, and then where did you boost want? that rating? Get that rating up. Yeah, no doubt. Where did you want to go? I grew up a Stanford fan. Really? Yeah. I don't know about Stanford. I was down the street. No shot at getting in Stanford. No, no <laughs> shot. No, no, no. <laughs> no shot. But the crazy thing is, my senior year, uh, we played against Stanford, and then their head coach came up to me after the game. And was like, he was like, "You're my favorite player in the back tour right now," and I was like. I was down the street four years ago. <laughs> yeah. You could have you came and got me. He's probably fired up to hear that. Yeah, I was. Hey, Washington's where you kind of had your coming out party. Washington was. Uh, yeah. First year, junior year. Yeah. 2010. Yeah, because I broke my foot before yeah. They, yeah. the first game. And Levante <laughs> yeah. comes out, has like 15 tackles. He's like throwing up the bones, kills somebody over the middle. And then I, whenever I come back, there's yeah. no job to be had anymore. <laughs> it was just all Levante. Oh, my God. What a feeling. Yeah, we stayed tough. friends. I went through some. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, oh, when I'm I first got to... there, when I first got there, Will, Zoe, and all those boys, it was it was cool. You know, mm -hmm. they were cool. Like, kind of took. Me. Will was the the main one, kind of like helped me. You know, study and stuff like that, learn yeah. defense and stuff like Plus that. Will Compton. Pass it, Will Compton. Literally, did he knew I, I was going to come and you. Yeah, take know. everything. <laughs> he basically took <laughs> everything. You have to rob the bank. Yeah, yeah he took yeah. everything. Yeah. He took everything from yeah. you. But it was more of like frustration because we would only run like dime packs, yeah. so eleven yeah, personnel, yeah. like stuff where you would have yeah. two linebacker sets. Yeah, we would run dime to fucking everything. Right. And I hated it. He was like it. the lone linebacker. I hated it. Why'd you hate I it? it? I didn't want to be the only backer out there. I'm up there with only with DBs and shit. I ain't like that. Like we playing the Big Twelve, playing against spread teams. You know how that go. Yeah. So like they don't want. You know, they want more speed, I guess, out there on the field. And then the next year when we end up going to Big Ten, I basically told them, like, I don't want to be out there by myself. I'll play the dime position and let Will play the mic. And that's what happened. So he gave me a job. <laughs> <laughs> Legit, he gave you a job. <laughs> yeah. That's tough. That so when you did that for that, whatever, that year that you guys are, you know, he stole everything from you. There was no animosity? No, when he came no, not back. To, not, yeah. not to him. It was more of like one of those situations where, you thought you still had the spot because he was balling. And then, uh -huh. like, I'm watching the film after the game because I broke my foot. Yeah. And I was, like, rushing to come back type of thing mm -hmm. because you're kind of, like, witnessing, like, oh, this motherfucker, is a, he's a baller. Mm -hmm. And uh, you would think that I was thinking that he would move over to the, to the dime and I would be the, the dime, middle. Yeah. Don't and that, when yeah. there was, like, no communication, it was more of, like, you know, you were kind of, like, shunned based off, like, damn, nobody's, like, keeping me in the loop mm -hmm. or talking to me about it yeah. type of thing. Yeah, so there's yeah, no yeah. animosity with him. Like, nah. he's, like... I mean, he's he's Levante David. You know what I mean? But he wasn't Levante David then. But you knew he was coming. Like, the first game, he had 13 or 13, 15 tackles. 13 tackles, yeah. yeah. 13 tackles. This man and then, like, the whole time. playing against Washington, he was, like, he, the way he was, like, slipping yeah. blocks and squeezing into certain, uh, just squeezing into certain tackles, it's like, you knew he was going to be a fucking dude. And then, sure enough, like, you, you're you in the top tackles list playing two years at yeah. Nebraska. Yeah. Who's at, who was at Washington? Yeah. Remember what was the, what the players were like the key players? Oh, it was Jake Locker, Chris Polk. Yep. Uh, Jake Locker, Tennessee Titans. Jermaine Curse. The receiver. Jermaine, yeah, he was there. Yeah, yeah, he was there. They had another guy too. Mason. Oh, Mason Foster. Foster. Daniel T. Machine. R. P. Daniel. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, 
I know the other receiver you're talking about. I can't remember his name. It was loud playing there, though. Watch it. Was it. You guys it was get, loud, like, yeah. sneaky fucking yeah, yeah, it was, it was it's louder loud. now. It's louder now because they re... Uh, they built it up more? Because you guys should go straight up. Yeah. They got the yeah. aluminum seats, too, so everything vibrates. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, literally yeah. straight up. Like, you know how yeah. your guys' is it's surprisingly not that loud, but it's because Weird it's shot. a bowl? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm just saying, like, you guys obviously have the capacity, but yeah. their shit's mm-hmm. built, like, so the designer, up. The, they say the designer of the Seahawks Stadium designed ours. It's kind of the same. So it's kind of the same. Yeah. So yeah. they dropped the field down mm-hmm. more, and then the way it's built, it's like it echoes off the yeah whatever. You I guys like have that, all the yeah. boats that yeah, yeah, on the water yeah. and tailgate. I, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Cool. Yeah, it was that was dope. So getting drafted, do you have any, do you have? Uh, no, go ahead. I was just gonna move to him. Like you were drafted in the first round. Um, talk to us about like getting picked up by Tampa. You go from California. You go from the West Coast all the way to Florida. Like what was that transition like? It was crazy. I knew nothing about Florida. I was just I was always on the West Coast. California kid. Never really like got out of California. And then went to Washington. I was only like a two-hour fly away. And then going from that cold to the heat, it was just, it was crazy. I knew nobody, nothing about Florida. And I came, got drafted. And my first year, it was kind of hard. It was rough. But I was like, I knew no one. Monte was being, he was being mean. <laughs> nah, you mean? Nah, he wasn't. He wasn't. That type of guy. He wasn't. I just wasn't used to it. And it was hard for me to acclimate. But then right now, Trans, trans, transition to now, I, I love it there. And it's crazy because when I first got there, I was like, I was a fish out of water. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, Monte, they was over there. Yeah. They threw the whole playbook at me, and I was like, damn. Yeah. In college, yeah. So in college like, we didn't. It got, to a point, it got to a point when we were in college that we were so good up front that they gave us, like, free range, kind of. And it was just like, we didn't have any, like, blitzes, like, barely blitz. We had, Good enough D line that we rush like basically three every every day, like every time on third down. So, so you basically lined up and just played. Yeah, we just won. lined up wherever we wanted. We just played backyard football with the boys. Yeah, we just yeah. that's basically what happened. Not, not to a T, but that's that's basically how it went down. How I felt about it, and then when I came to the NFL, they were throwing me all these plays. It was like, mm-hmm. what's this? I was like, <laughs> learner. I was like, what 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 they got in the fire zone? And I was like, oh no. What they got but, the fire zone? I don't know. I, was like, I don't know what the hell's a fire zone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because how, how do you feel about it now? You're all dialed in now. I'm all that. Well, our D line coach used to be a D coordinator. Mm-hmm. So when he came in my second year, it was just we'd be in the meeting. He like tells everybody's fuck up. He was like, oh, he messed up right here. So now it's just like when we're in meetings. Like you know who fucked up already, and like you know all the plays. You got you know you Tay. Yeah. You got ask Tay. Like normally, when the D linemen wait, normally D linemen wait for the linebackers to give the call. Yeah. But when we're out there, like we're giving the calls too. Yeah. So we know it's just like what is what the front supposed to be set at. You playing you play in the back like Derrick Henry, Tupac, Biggie. <laughs> <That's not. laughs> yeah. You playing the you playing running back against like Derrick Henry, Alvin Kamara, and they gotta cover him. They're not worried about giving us the call, so he's like. My first, our first year, that's how it was, like, because yeah. we knew nothing. And we'd just be out there, be like, what's the call, what's the call, what's the call? Yeah. So, like. But now they just give us the play, yeah. and then we'll be able to line each other up. Like, his rookie year, our coach at the time, he made everybody, like, try to learn every, like, we had some shit called Kahoot, right? Kahoot. Kahoot. So, like, D-line had to say what everybody, what, what everybody had, like, what got, what this guy had and the drop, what coverage this is and everything. Like, I'm like, come on, man. D-line don't need to know all that. Like, what I need to know the coverage is on the back end and shit like that. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Just get them boys to front and let them just go play football. So when Casey came in, Casey... Uh, Casey changed Casey, the whole game. Yeah, he basically, now it's like yeah. we hear the whole call. Yeah. Like you hear 51, and there's, they only play one high, and they play man. Yeah. They can't cover forever, so the rush got to get there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because when they play, if you think about it, and man, <laughs> bad shit happen when it's like not all corners, like not all corners are good. I'm not saying talking bad about our corners, but... Yeah. That shit happens more in man. It's just like something general. It's yeah. the NFL, right? Yeah, like, the NFL, yeah, like they're, yeah. they're receivers, they're in the NFL too. So it's like, yeah. yeah. It's just, it and you don't like, want to be in cover one against like the Saints and Kamara. Yeah. yeah. You go out there. You can't, you can't cover guys like that all day. Yeah. Yeah, basically. And go ahead. like, basically, like when we be giving the front, like we'll get a coverage call and they like, we'll get a coverage call and they basically already know the front. So mm-hmm. it's kind of like easier for everybody to get the call quick. And like when we in situations like two men and shit like that, we just worry about the coverage and they take care of the front, basically shit like that. So. 
Seems like y'all run intricate, intricate ass games though. Like you guys have, like you have a nine, and all of a sudden he'll just go and spike to the a gap, like yeah. randomly in a whole. Like you guys do some wild shit, yeah, some just in practice. Stuff, yeah. <laughs> Just crazy stuff. Like I said, yeah. we started this whole thing yeah, out. You yeah, lining yeah. up on the outside randomly and stuff mm. like that. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's just crazy. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah. Hey, listen, <laughs> hey, too big. And the thing about you too, dude, as a nose, like a lot of noses don't play hard. Mm. Like you play hard. That's got to be love for you. Yeah, very love. love. Yeah, like I seen it from the get go. I mean, oh no, like I played with Jerry McCoy and I seen how hard he used to play. How he used to turn and run to the ball. Like it's been times where like. You know, if he like we run into the ball and he passed me up, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm pissed, like it's pissing me off. Yeah. And then I started to see him do it. I'm like, okay, we getting somewhere. You know, we got something in Vita. Like, that's all that matters. If you play hard, you know, all that other stuff gonna come come about. You know, as a rookie, he coming in, just, you know, big guy, you know what I'm saying? You know, mm -hmm. you know, lady on him about his weight and stuff like that. And then he out there trying to run to the football. And I'm like, okay, you know, we can yeah, even big as you want, you run like that. <laughs> big thing. You can run. So and then shit. It just go from there. Like that's the main thing too, though. Like we always spur about, you know, just playing hard no matter what. You know, mm -hmm. like the defense. So that's the thing. I never played nose before until I got to college. So in high school, I played running back, more linebacker, and. I wasn't this big. How big were you? I was like two fifty, and then when I gray shirted, I. <laughs> <laughs> two fifty as a running but back. No, but I, I car I carried the weight well, so I didn't really look that big. You go right there. <laughs> Look at this man out here. <laughs> Bro, you're, you're massive. Imagine trying to tackle you there. Imagine feeling that stiff arm, dude. That, kid, he, that kid's in a wheelchair His now. vertebrae is getting compressed. <laughs> Are you kidding me? They yeah. got CT yeah, so from that senior, one play. In the year, I didn't play no D-line. All I played was running back and middle linebacker. And it was the funny thing Green when I played. When I played, yeah. when I played linebacker, I didn't, all I did was blitz every single play. <laughs> That's all I did. I was like, I didn't know no. You, didn't, you really didn't have to learn ball until you got to the NFL. Know, yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> even, even when I was on offense, like the quarterback, I was like, which way I'm running? I'm yeah. like, just go this way. <laughs> he said, just go this way. He'd point for you, and you just ripped that way. On, on, on defense, I was just blitz every single play. There was only one time I ever uh, dropped back in coverage, and it was like to win a game. It was like last play situation. <laughs> like dropped back in the coverage. It was my first time I got PBU. We won the game. <laughs> I just seen some dude running like a deep over, and I just started chasing him. Seeing the ball out, I dove and batted the ball down. We won, and I was like, no one like no one noticed it. But in, in, in my mind, inside, I was like, damn, that was like the biggest play ever to me. And no one like no one noticed me. I, I got up. I thought everyone was gonna come like jump on me, yeah. making a play, and they was just like, no, no, nah, we weren't, hey, weren't gonna play. score anyway. The coach, his coaches are definitely just like, how did we just put him in the right? How do we just let him? Yeah, play? but that was yeah. the thing. But it so, makes sense why he didn't get a lot of offers. Right, and running back and middle linebacker. <laughs> That's true too. You That's know what I'm saying? Like, when I when I got to uh, when I got to UW, I didn't know I was gonna play nose because I gray shirted. You gotta think I gray shirted a year, and I gained a hundred pounds. <laughs> hey, let's put a let's put a timeout real quick. How did you gain a hundred pounds in a year? I don't know. All and I did. Also not he said, I don't know. Like line. it just happened. All I did. All I did was uh, go to that JUCO, and did classes to uh, to like for me to make. Make the uh, be able to go to uh, UW, and then uh, outside of that, how I got strong was I did like construction work, like landscaping stuff. Yeah, and like I just went, oh, and I did all the hard, I did all like the hard, like the hard labor stuff. Yeah, like bring concrete and stuff, stuff like that, and just like I did it with my uncles and stuff. But like, and their payment to me was like feeding me. <laughs> I didn't get paid cash. They just they just fed me to wake up, go to work, do the class. Go do like break concrete and then get fed, and that's all we did was just like eat, eat, do construction so work. No moment of this gaining like, of a hundred oh, pounds. You're like maybe I should. You think I think around twenty, you go. Hmm. You know, <laughs> I need saying? to stay like, a little slender. Yeah, I felt it. I definitely felt it because I knew once I broke three hundred, my back started hurting. Like walking around, <laughs> I was like, I was like, golly. And no, I was like, that's why I always somewhere. told everyone. No, that's somewhere. why I always told everyone. I was like, once you break, once you go over three hundred. You feel it, like your back starts hurting, but then like, you get used to the weight. And it was just like when I went to UW, the funny thing was, cause I thought I was gonna play outside linebacker, 
At 300 pounds? And I was like 370 when I got to UW. <laughs> 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 were the coaches checking I in with think, you at all? I didn't, so here's, <laughs> here's you know the thing. Saying? You think the coach was like, hey, let me come see you real quick. And they'd be like, <laughs> here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. He just walks in 370, bro. You know, how you, you know how you take a visit? And yeah. They, like, they take you to the weight room. They, you step on the scale. They measure you out and stuff. Yeah. I didn't think they'd care because I stepped on the scale. And I step that was the, the first time I ever like weighed myself in that year. And I was like 373, and I was just, I was like, oh shoot, my heart kind of dropped. <laughs> yeah. I thought they were, I, I thought I was like, damn, they're about to drop my offer, this and that. And then uh, what's it called? After that, they started taking me to all these restaurants, restaurants and like feeding me, like yeah. normally what they do on a visit. So I was like, oh, they probably don't care. They feed me all this, this all this damn food, and I came back. I was out of shape. They got me into shape. Whatever. I thought I was coming in playing outside linebacker. <laughs> you end. still thought that even at 370. Yeah, and they're feeding that's you. what I thought. And, and I no came, one said anything to you? No. Like, hey, you're probably going to play nose. They didn't nose. say anything. I came in thinking I was going to play outside linebacker. Because <laughs> that's all I played yeah. in high school. When I came in, they were like, you play nose. And I didn't. That was like a whole new world. How mad were you? Huh? How mad were you? I wasn't mad. I was just like, I was more scared. Because <laughs> I was just like, Cause the thing is, the closer you are to the ball, the faster things happen. Yeah. So I was like playing nose. I started getting like knocked off the ball, and then the good thing is I had Danny Shelton when he was there, mm-hmm. and he was like a true nose guard, and I learned from him, and basically that's what really helped me because I watched him, studied him, him playing college, and then that was that's really the re- reason why I'm, I feel like I'm the nose that I am today. Is it Danny? Is it Danny? What's Danny doing now? Where's he He's at? He's with the Chiefs right now. He's the Chiefs? About Chiefs. He I was balling, mean. though, his senior year at UW. Like, I think the first two games, he had, like, seven sacks. He was oh, just but like, he was like that. Yeah. yeah. But sure. he went to Cleveland first? He, he got went, drafted into yeah. Cleveland. Yeah. Went to the Patriots. Detroit, now he's at the Chiefs. Bro, that, that story's funny, man. <laughs> you listen to him, and it seems like he's just like an innocent kid who just had no clue. Yeah, no idea. But we oh, all kind of were. I weighed 373. Legit, when you're in high school, though, the things you think about that they don't matter at all. But you think, hey, these coaches probably think X, Y, and Z, and you're just totally off. Our head coach in in high school, he didn't care. He was like, he wanted us to be heavy. And it was like, it was like one time, (laughs) my senior year in in, in high school, the whole O-line was just Tongans. They were like 340 pounds, my size. And they are just across the board. (laughs) That was the funniest thing. That was the funniest People, thing. If you're a team, if you're like an all white team, you're lining up like fuck. <laughs> yeah, dude, and like <laughs> that's yeah. dead ass though. I mean, where I'm from, because you you would go to the city and play like an all black team, and you're like, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> For real, dude. I feel like uh, Tongan guys are just like denser cats. Yeah, you guys are just built different, man. I mean, two fifty a running back. Yeah. Oh, terrifying. And middle linebacker. Terrifying. Blitzing every play. And what school is this that's just all Tongans playing? Uh, high, like what? <laughs> I've never school, heard of that demographic. It was, a, it was a school called Milpitas High School. But yeah. In California, there's a lot of uh, Pacific Islanders, so it was just that was a thing. There was sometimes you like you face schools that had the same thing, so you're like, dang. Yeah. Who's the better? Who's like the better Polynesian, me or you? <laughs> <laughs> I love Polynesians. How's uh when you first got to the league? Like, what was what was it like uh being under old Levante David over here? Him as a leader, him being a vocal guy, because I hear he's a vocal guy now. <laughs> he wasn't. He was when I got in. He was more like a led by example. He, that's how he led. And uh, we had Quan. He was a vocal guy, in, in the in the linebacker room or, or on our defense. So. Quan was a vocal guy, and Tay was the, uh, he was like the Ali by example. So it was just like, when I mess up, it was just like, damn, I felt like I let Tay down. And there was one game, it was just, because I was new, and like, I came in, I went 3-4 nose, and they drafted me into a 4-3 defense. So it was like a way different style of play for me. And I was just like trying to learn it. It was all different. And the, the technique that they wanted us to play, I kept getting a reach. I remember it. It was a Cincinnati game. It was a, what did they what they run? They ran like a uh, they ran like press open yeah, like or press. Person. And what's it called? It was like their zone and yeah. And I was a shade every single play, and for like four plays straight, I got reached by the nose, and they were running through my a gap, running through my a gap, and I was like, I was just like. I didn't know what the hell was going on. I was like, "What the hell is going on?" <laughs> and we got to, the, we got to the side, we got to the sideline, and Tay came over to our bench. 
He said, if he don't know what the fuck he's doing, get them fuck out. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shoot. After that, that's why I was like, damn, I got I to gotta lock it in. That was Bro. the funniest thing ever. Just a soft-spoken cat, man. He's like, damn, I got to lock it in. Because some dudes, you get yelled at like that, you're like, no, fuck you. Right, right, right. Not you, dude. You're like, I got to lock it in. So what yeah. happened after? It changed ever since. Yeah, shit, he got better. It changed ever since. I mean, but like, I think when we got these new coaches, yeah. they you don't fucking know, get the fuck out. <laughs> We got these new coaches. It was more my style of play because I'm I'm more like a two gap type of yeah. nose. Mm-hmm. I can play both, but mm-hmm. I'd rather prefer like two gapping, and just like I'd hold the double, let the linebackers run. I get the center, let Tay run free, and I feel like that's that's where I thrive at as a as a nose tackle. Yeah. And I feel like, and that was in the last. This has been in the last couple of years, right? Yeah. yeah, but that's how it was in in, in college, and it was just like. My job was to eat double teams, plays come to me, make the play, let the linebackers run. And then, like, because selfless, because a couple years ago, ball. you got you got put on IR, right? Yeah. You got injured. What was that like? Because you go from being injured, then last year you obviously become, you know, you get your first Pro Bowl. That was like, were there times with that new staff to where you're kind of like, fuck, man. That like, was crazy because that was our our second year with them. Mm-hmm. Second year with the new regime. Cool. Yeah. And uh, I felt like. You was having a good ass year too. I, I felt like I was having, I was picking up like to have the best year of my life. Yeah. Yeah. And it was just like the game was finally like slowing down. And I remember at meetings, we were playing Chicago. This is your year three? Two. That was your second year. Year three. Yeah, three. Second, second year with the with, VA. Yeah. Or with the new coach. This is your fourth year right now? Fifth year. Fifth year. Did you sign a new deal? Yeah. He did. Like it was like what, four years, 70 something? Yeah. Come on, what was it? <laughs> we can look it up. We'll Google it right now if you don't want to say. <laughs> Four years, like, 71, I want to say. <laughs> Man, I hope you're not living in California still. No, no, no. Yeah, the taxes, right huh? Here, right? The taxes are crazy now. In Florida. So you won't ever forget you're playing Chicago, and what happened? You were having the, yeah, you fixed I was, the I best year. I felt like I was career. having the best year of my life. Game was slowing down. I remember, like, that Chicago game, I was having probably having, like, the best game of my, my career in the NFL so far. And the game was, like, slowing down. Like, everything we watched in film, Everything I studied, like I saw, and like one of the plays was like I know I remember was like our coach told us like when the receiver motions into a cut split, and you're on you're on the you'll be on the backside, and I was on the backside lined up at a two eye, and they said that guard will cut you, and I seen it. I was in my stance, seen the uh, receiver motion in, cut split, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna on the backside. This guard's about to cut me. Sure enough, like normally when you like when those tendencies pop up, you're like. I know it's gonna happen, but I still gotta play right. honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might not happen. There's a chance it might not happen. Mm-hmm. And I went, and he took like a little bucket step, and I knew he was gonna cut me. I played the cut block and ran down line and got a TFL, and I was just like sitting there. I was like, "That's crazy. That just <laughs> just happened." I got a sack, got a couple TFLs, and then at the end, it was like in the two minute, like the last minute, minute and a half. Mm-hmm. Uh, they had to go down and score three, uh, kick a field and win the game. And it was crazy. It was like a hustle play. Yeah. And, like, they ran, like, a screen. I was running out. Running back was, like, dancing behind the tackle. And I finally got to him. And me and Devin got to him at the same time. And then Devin, like, crashed into my ankle. And it was just, it wasn't Devin's fault. It was just, like, one of those freak accidents. But and what was the injury? I uh, broke my ankle, tore my deltoid. Fuck. And it was just, it was crazy. But then after that, it was just, I was like, damn, season's over for me. And it was crazy. But when we got onto the bus like right after the game, we lost. It was the funniest thing ever because I was just like, I thought we were going to win. Like, we got Brady. He's about to do some, some magic. And then it's got to be like, it is. <laughs> Brady, too. Like, dang, oh, damn, was, they scored. It's all right. Brady, we yeah, got Brady. We got to Brady. do this thing. Yeah. I was over there. I was like, they pulled me straight into, like, the x-ray. And it was, like, right into the tunnel. Put me... Straight to X ray, and I was like, it got, it's probably like an ankle sprain or something. They told me he broke the news to me right there, and they were like, oh, he broke your ankle. And I was like, damn, I was on the crutches. So, like, you wanna go to the locker room? I was over there standing in the hallway thinking I'm like in the movie or something. <laughs> like, they probably won the game. I was like, I was, <laughs> I was in my head, I was like, they probably won the game. I'm gonna go stand in the hallway, they're gonna come down. <laughs> they're gonna be like some movie shit. And I was like, they're gonna get me on the video. Yeah. Uh, look at Vita, he's hurt. He over here cheering his team from the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking awesome, dude. That shit was the funniest shit ever. I came out and I was like, what happened? It's like, they lost. <laughs> 
cut your ass back in the locker room. <laughs> like, oh, I gotta get out of here. Crunch is holding him up. Yeah. Bro. I felt like I was like, fuck. I was mad that we lost. The car came up. He was like, you wanna you wanna ride? I was like, get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> I was mad as hell, but then when we got onto the bus right after the the game, after everybody shower got into the bus, Sue was like, "What happened?" He looked at me, he was like, "What happened?" I told him, he was like, "They said I broke my ankle," and he was like, "He's the one who put it in my head, put it in my brain that was like, you can make it back for the, if we go to the playoffs." And I was like, "The hell?" He told me when the year when he played, I was like the hell? I was like, "What the hell?" Like, how do you know this? And he was like, he was started telling me, he was like, "Yeah, when we played." I played for the Rams. That's what uh, Akeem Talib did. He was on IR all year and came back for the playoffs. And then he put on my he put it on my mind, and I was just that's why I always told it. like everybody in the building. I showed up. Yeah, I still came to meetings every day. Yeah. I was like coming to meetings. I came to meetings like that next day, and they're like, "Damn, what, you still here?" I was like, "Yeah, I'm about to make it back." And no one believed me. They were like, "Nah, you're not coming back." The training room. They were like, "Nah, you're not coming back." Then they noticed like how fast I was healing. And got to a point they were like everybody was on board, and it was like it was crazy because like we knew we were going to the Super Bowl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was just like a, it was like a thing. It was like we're going to the Super Bowl, and I was like my biggest. We we called it like this is my fight camp. You know how fighters they have like a boxing camp, like three month boxing camp. Mm-hmm. I was like two months out, and it was like this is your fight camp. Like I was still in the cast, and I like I had to go work out, but like I was like. I would wet my cast on purpose, on purpose, just so every time I go change it like twice a week, and they get pissed. But my 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 thought behind it was like, when they change my cast and they take it off, I'm gonna move my ankle around so that has more. I work on more mo- mobility. Yeah. That would be hella funny because they were like, "What happened?" It was like, "I I gotta use a shower." But every time I shower, like the trash bag not holding it, the water is not keeping the water out, and I just put like be pouring a water bottle. Down. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor would like take my cast off and leave the room and get the supplies and I'll be in there and, like move my ankle. <laughs> Yo, that's pretty fucking that's legendary. Genius. Yeah. yeah. It is genius. Bro, that is genius. Yeah. You get in there cast genius. for a little bit, that thing yeah. gets stiff. Yeah. stiff. And it was, Isn't that dope that like that was your mind that that was your mindset about it. Mm. It was a that yeah, was wild. Was, fucking insane. <laughs> and that was uh that was the thing. It, we knew the Super Bowl was gonna be in our stadium. And that was like, it's right here. We it's like it's already written. We're gonna be there. What made you guys feel so confident about it? Because you guys didn't even win your division that year. Well, and we up didn't to, win, we up didn't to win. that point, there's never been a wherever the state the Super Bowl was hosted. Yeah, yeah. no teams ever Everybody. won it in their own stadium. Right. Yeah. But then it was just we got we got to a point where we couldn't lose. Like our last eight games, we couldn't lose. Like if we lost a game, we wouldn't make the playoffs. Yeah, and we won like we won like eight straight. Right, because I remember like, the Saints beating y'all pretty easily. Yeah. yeah. So, like, we had, a, like, a, a playoff mentality, like, round week 13, week 14. Like, every game we must win. Like, that's that's the mentality we had. So, like, we came back from the bye week. So, like, after the bye week, it was like, oh, shit, we got Because we lost to the Chiefs. Chiefs, and then Chiefs, we had a bye week. Yeah, and then we had the bye week. And, like, after that, it was just, like, you know, every game here on it, we were 7 to 5. Yeah. So, like, it was, like, every game here on out, like, we have to win to make the playoffs. And, like, that just was our mindset. And, like, as it got closer and closer towards the end of the season, we kept telling him, like, we're going to make it for you. We're going to make it for you. Because we knew his plan, his plan, what his plan was to try to come back. So And it was crazy because, like, the first, our first, the wild card playoff game, yeah. we played against the Redskins, and we won that. We beat the them. Now, you know. And we had the, the Commanders. <laughs> it was a close game, too. The Commanders yeah. went bad. Yeah. And then we had a, uh, we played the Saints. And, like, since, since I've been here, we, like, never beat the Saints. Yeah. And that was, like, they killed us. Twice that year, Twice and year. it was just like, if we get past them, we're going to win. And that's how we knew, because we beat them. And that was, like, the only team, like, in our division we couldn't, like, get over. That was the hump. Mm-hmm. And we we beat them, and it was like, right then and there, we're like, we're going to win. And that was, like, the next week was the NFC Championship in Green Bay. Yeah. That was, like, the, my first week back. Mm-hmm. First week back. It was just, you played majority of snaps. I was supposed to be on snap count, and then next thing you know, I'm... In there for like the whole series. <laughs> I was looking. Yeah, I, mean, I was like, like a Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, you'd think like I was working out, running, doing cardio, but like all that stuff doesn't prepare you for like your football cardio. Yeah, so, like yeah. nothing you could do could get you in football shape. And I was just out there. I was like, it was cold as hell out there. Yeah, yeah. It was freezing. It was like little snow out there. Yeah. So like when that cold air hits your lungs, it's like, <laughs> bro, I can't breathe. <laughs> it was like I, as much as I wanted to stay out there, like and play like the whole series, I kept subbing myself out, and I was like, I'm not. <laughs> in good enough shape, cause I only ran for like I was only running for like two weeks leading up to it, 
I was just like, I can't. Yeah, man. Like, they were making fun of me. Yeah. They were, like, they were making fun of me. Like, the strength staff were making fun of me. It was like, the first time I ran, I was like, I couldn't breathe. Because you got to think about in Tampa, the humidity, all this, this mm-hmm. and that, and the heat. Like, the first time they made me run on the field, like, I couldn't breathe for nothing. They kept making fun of me. They like, yeah, stop smoking Newports. <laughs> and I, that was a joke. And I was like, yeah, I'm about to go smoke a Newport, this and that. But that was that was a crazy, yeah. crazy year. But then when we got to, when we beat Green Bay, we went to the Kansas City week, and it was just two weeks. You had two weeks before mm-hmm. Super Bowl. And then, like, we'd, we'd practice. And from our practice facility, you could see the stadium. So that was, like, built-up motivation because you could see them setting everything up. Every time you're driving in, you're seeing, like, Super Bowl stuff even being built. A fire, fire practice facility. Um, Bears. And then all you see, that's all you see two weeks leading up to it. Two weeks leading up And we finally got the game plan. It was just, like, this was, like, nothing yeah. we ever, nothing <laughs> no, yeah. we ever seen before. <laughs> yeah. And it was just crazy. Like, nobody questioned anything. It was just, like, once we seen the game plan, it was just, like, that boosted our confidence to, like, a next level. Yeah. So what about like, the game plan? Yeah. It boosted your confidence so much. It's basically, we knew everything they was doing. Yeah. Like, we basically, So, like, if you look back to the first time we played them in the first, during the regular season. Yeah, right regular before season. your bye? Yeah. Yeah. When we played them, they beat us in the first quarter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They scored, like, 21 points in the first quarter. And that was, like, the only time they scored. Yeah. And then for this whole second half, they didn't score any points. And we almost came back and yeah, won. Yeah. The final score was 27-24. Yeah. And we was getting our ass hit like 21 zip. Yeah. yeah. Tariq had like three touchdowns, like back to back to back. And it was just, after that, we corrected it. And so when we came back in the Super Bowl, we knew what they were going to do. And like the coverage they came out with. Yeah. It was, it was just like a different, a lot of like, a lot of different looks. Like they had been in this formation, we would check this coverage. And when they motion over and stuff, we would check us another coverage. Like mm-hmm. it was just, they didn't know we was in zone, we was in man, we was in quarter, quarter, half, like, it was a whole bunch of stuff. But, like, everybody was confident in it. And then, like, it was one of those games where, like, we came in and he basically said, like, when you say, like, D-line, y'all got the run game, basically. Like, yeah. y'all take care of the run game and uh, and then we gonna, we gonna win the game. And, like, like the confidence Bowl had kind of, like, Bowles had kind of, like, instilled the confidence in us. And, like, when we looked at the, the thing, I'm like, this type of football we and like that to was, play right That now. was our biggest thing, because, like, our biggest thing is our run defense mm-hmm. and, like, stopping the run. That's, like, what our D line yeah. is known for. And that's like what we try to hang our hat on, like stopping the run. Okay. And that was like the <laughs> that was the thing. It was like it was like they're not gonna beat us on the ground. So we're gonna we're gonna take that away early. Yeah. We're gonna make Patrick Mahomes beat us. And that was the biggest thing. It was just like That's a big statement saying we're gonna make Patrick Mahomes beat us. Yeah. Like the pass rush was on fire that game that Bro, night. I mean I remember watching that game, but he had two tackles out too, right? The yeah, Eric Fisher tore his Achilles yeah. in the AFC Championship he's game. He's trying to make a lot of those wild throws, which he's wild throws, yeah. which he low key yeah. almost made. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he yeah. did. Those, yeah. those, those, don't get me wrong. Those plays, those throws that he was making was crazy, <laughs> insane. Yeah. You can, there's yeah. even memes with like right after there's like people trying to recreate it. It was yeah. like, how the hell he do this? Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. insane. It is it was dope. massive when guys like yourself can take out Travis Kelsey. It was mad. <laughs> I mean, it was just uh, yeah, like, yeah, I said, like yeah, yeah. I'm it obviously was, complimenting. Yeah, 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 I know yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Hard, but you know, you Travis like, watches. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, you know? But I'm saying that that was like yeah. massive. Like it you was, were in there, like you yeah. were being highlighted. Like yeah. you were when mm-hmm. you can cover somebody like a yeah. Travis Kelsey one on one. Yeah, um, that's it, it's big because it frees right. people up to you know take care of the deep end with Tyreek right, Hill and all the backyard plays that are happening. I remember leading up to the game, like I kind of like had a little hamstring injury. Like, and it was kind of, like, holding me out of practice that first week. And, like, I just remember, like, obviously hearing the media saying, oh, Levante got a hamstring injury. I think he going to be able to, you know, match up with with this guy or whatever. But, like, you know, I'm, I'm like, I'm good. You know, like, it's a challenge. You know what I'm saying? It's basically, like, best on best. You know, I got a lot of respect for Travis Kelsey. He's a great football player, obviously. But, like, in the Super Bowl, when you get challenged like that by your coaches and your coaches believe in you and, like, I'm the older guy on the team, a lot of people – you know, look up to me and stuff like that. Like, I got I to gotta answer the challenge. You know what I'm saying? So whenever my number was called to guard him one-on-one, man-to-man, I'm like, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to study everything he do and, like, wherever he line up at, figure out his routes and stuff like that and just try to, you know, take take him out the game as much as I can whenever, I, whenever I'm lined up against him. And, you know, it worked out to my benefit. How many times in that game were you one-on-one with him? Man-to-man, probably about seven, eight times, maybe. Enough times to make you sweat. 
For sure, yeah. no doubt. I mean, yeah. when you're yeah, covering like, because he's got so much length, sometimes it's not yeah. even about like you yeah. can be locked up on him and he's yeah. able to just make a play because he's yeah, so and he, long. he's elusive. Top of that, they had Tariq and McCall Harmon. Oh, bro, yeah. crazy, yeah. Yeah. studs, bro. yeah. And look, he can say one thing: people in football, people in the outside world, don't understand it as much as like people in the inside the football world do. Is like there's so many one-on-one mashups, mm -hmm. and it's just like. There's times, there's a call made, and you're like, oh, I'm chilling on this play. Yeah, I know, yeah, like, yeah. I just got this area, and I'm going to be fine. But there's other times you're like, like, there's times in the game when we go, and it's like, I know everyone's sliding away from me, mm -hmm. and it's just me and this dude. Yeah. And I have zero help. Zero help. You know what I'm saying? Zero but you help. Gotta, in your head, you're just like, I just got to win this one-on-one. You got to win. You got to win. just got to win this one-on-one, yeah, -on -one, yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's like a whole different... Trigger clicking in your mind. It really like, is. It's like, oh shit, this is my yeah. this is my no right insurance here. policy. Yeah. Like, there's no yeah. one there to like. Yeah. Everyone's watching you. this match this right here. That's right. literally how I feel. Like, if it's man to man, I got this guy. Like, damn, everybody watching us because they might think this is the mismatch right here. So I gotta, yeah, do my you know my best at yeah. it. And, you know, just just that. Uh, do you think about how? Do you ever think about how slept on you are throughout your career? I do, I do. I mean, but. It don't bother me or nothing like that. Is that what you're saying? Like, it don't bother me or nothing because, you know, like, around the league, you know, I hear people, you know, they give me, some people give me my respect. It's just the big media stuff don't give me my respect. But, like, my peers, that's all I, you know, care about. Just my peers know when I go out there and I, you know, you know, put my heart out there and then my teammates and stuff like that. They know they could try to count on me. They know they could trust me and stuff like that. But, you know, at the end of the day, I still, I'm always going to feel like I'm, Still a top five linebacker in this league, even in year eleven. Yeah, I mean, uh, it definitely helps too. Like when TB twelve comes to town, and yeah, you got somebody else being vocal, and you guys are winning games yeah. too. Because that was probably the so, shitty part is like being in a certain market. Yeah, but the last couple of years, like it's been nice seeing mm -hmm. from, from from friend to friend, like yeah. seeing you get more. Yeah, I know you know I see you uh, always shot me out. Bro, he's oh, always, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's always, yeah. So he's on the Levante train that. always, dude. Yeah, appreciate it, bro. Wait, sure. we, Go ahead. With everything changing, like uh, uh, Bulls taking over and stuff mm -hmm. like that, did you guys do two join the practice last year? No, we, oh, I think we just did it all. Yeah, just, yeah. Uh, just yeah. us. Yeah. What is with what is with us doing this every year? Oh, y'all get some good work, bro. It's some good work, like two. Well, well, yeah, I mean, like <laughs> no, like we get good work. Yeah, we like going to get yeah, okay, great yeah, work. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like it's two physical teams. He's got the Miami. Stuff going on. Yeah, he goes, well, he goes, y'all get some good work. And for whatever reason, I'm like, hold well, on. He was even worse in college. You couldn't really like, hey, what'd you say, Levante? It's not like two physical teams. Yeah. You know, basically, like, all are physical for yeah, sure. Like, with a mindset, like, it's basically a mindset, like, best man win type shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, best on best, let's go see who's going to win and stuff right. like that. And like, the past couple years, it has been, you know, great work, even though this year went better than last year. You know how last year went. It was yeah. a bunch of, Fucking brawls every day. Yeah, like, yeah, every yeah, period. Yeah, every period. Every period. period. Yeah. But it's also like that heat makes everybody yeah. like yeah. way more mad. Like we were blessed by weather this yeah. week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because usually in like June and July, it was in the hundreds. Mm -hmm. And then all of a yeah. sudden, it was like mid 80s this week. Yeah. It was a nice deal. When we was coming up, one of the staff was like, uh, it's going to be 65 at night one of these nights or something like that. I'm like, damn, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, it's, cra it's a crazy, it's a crazy change for sure. Yeah. Do you guys, how do you guys think you did this week? I think it was uh, the first day, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna be honest, y'all kicked the ass the first day. Okay. For real, for real. And then the next Ladies day, it was. Respect. Yeah. And then the next day, we kind of like got back to where we was, mm -hmm. got back to our norm and kind of executed better. So. so who won on day two? It was good. There was good blows on day work. two. Yeah. Know, it, was, it, was, it was great work on day two. We were definitely better on the second day. It was better. We was the better. That's all that is, matters. The funny thing is, the same thing happened last year. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. The same yeah. exact thing. They beat us on the first day. Yeah. And we showed up on the second day. Second day. Like the first the first period of practice, or whatever, and also like you guys showed up mm. two minutes before practice started. Yeah. <laughs> like we legit went to this, but they, yeah. they, their buses were late. Yeah. So the, the all low key came in and weren't yeah. even like warmed up. We weren't warmed up. <laughs> so at the all. first team period, legit, yeah. like I think it was well, bombs over Baghdad. Yeah. We Blood were yeah. we were yeah. ripping the ball deep and like yeah. had big holes and it was yeah. it was solid. And then mm. the next, but we knew. The minute that practice <laughs> ended, we're like, they're coming out tomorrow. <laughs> and so the next, the first team period of the next day, it's yeah. like, PBU, probably a sack. Uh, like, just yeah. run stuff. <laughs> and it's yeah. like, oh, fuck. Like, like it is good work. Yeah, it is. And it's good, too, because I don't know if it's because of the second year, but it felt like tensions weren't that high this year. Yeah. It didn't feel like, it was almost like you guys were familiar. Yeah. Like, yeah. when I saw y'all. Like, I remember seeing you in Tampa, and I wasn't really practicing because I was coming off the ACL. I yeah. saw you in the weight room, mm. and I said something like, what's up, Oos? 
And you like just looked at me and walked past me. I'm like, oh, oh, they're about to be like that today. It's pretty wild. Yeah. And then this year I was kind of talking, or a couple of days ago, yesterday, I'm like talking to you, you got like a smile on your face. It just yeah. seems like there's more of a familiarity that yeah, we're just yeah, gonna go yeah, and do yeah, this. Yeah, because uh, like I said, man, like I feel like both teams kind of like got that mindset like that. We're gonna be the physical, tough team today type mindset. Mm -hmm. And when you got two teams going like that, all it does is make each other better. So that's why I like, you know, kind of like joint pressing against you guys. Yeah, yeah. it's solid, dude. Going against fucking Derek Henry and the pass rush shit, so. Yeah, they had you out. They had you out on fucking social media yesterday. I saw it. You know I saw it. What happened? You know I saw it. Uh, Buck, it was actually Buck Rising. But <laughs> Buck had, like, Levante David against Derek Henry in yeah. pass rush blitz period or whatever. How'd that everybody, go? everybody was tagging me, like, oh, Will's conflicted. Yeah. Doesn't know what to say. He got me <laughs> yesterday, but I got him. Yeah, um, He got me yesterday, but I got him Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, so that kind of, like, was... But it's all about what you can put out there on social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 100%. I mean, just to film, it, film yeah, that yeah, iPad, yeah. send it to me. I'll take. I'll, I'll yeah, do the rest. I mean, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> you know, I'm, I don't care about that. Yeah. Bro, y'all are so fast. You and Dev. Yeah. So fast. That Would you a, say y'all are the y'all are the best tandem? Y'all are the best sure, duo in the league? Sure, tandem, best tandem. Like we can, we can do. I feel like we can. We the only group we could probably could yeah, do I it can all. Test to that. We can do it all. You could blitz the quarterback. Run, run, stop, and cover uh, receiving the back side of the backfield. Who you think's behind y'all? Who I think's behind us? I like those guys in San Fran. Those dudes, all three of them. Z's, uh, obviously uh, Fred, and then uh, what's uh, 57 name? I forgot his name, but he's Greenlaw. Those dudes, beasts. I remember, like, last year, we was watching, like, we was watching them play, and we, like, looking at the way they play, like, looking at the linebackers mm -hmm. playing, like, like damn, these dudes flying to the football and they physical, they're aggressive. Fifty seven is like a dog. Like yeah, that's you can what I'm tell saying. by the yeah, way yeah. you watch them on film too. Exactly, like, exactly. Like he's got like that crazy, like <laughs> kind of like a screw loose type yeah, of Yeah, yeah. And I, I know I knew Aziz already when Aziz when Aziz was coming out, uh he went to FAU and I was down there training. I used to train at XPE in Boca and FAU was in Boca. And then I kinda like met him. He was fresh off ACL and uh, like you know, the trainer was like, you know, just work with Vontae, you know, just kind of like piggyback off him and stuff like that. And then that's when I, how I got to know him. And a uh, great kid. He's from Tampa. So uh, he already knew me. So uh, it was a great kid. And uh, he's uh, he was a free agent and then he's playing football for uh, San Fran. And obviously Fred Warner's a dog. Yeah, Fred's a dog. He's really yeah, good. Dog. 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 Yeah. Um, yeah these are studs. The defense is unreal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're, they're yeah, they gotta, inside and out. Yeah. Their front seven is good. Yeah. I just like the way they play. Like, they relentless. You know, I yeah. like that relentless attitude as a defense. Don't sleep on the boys in Tennessee now. Oh, we got a front seven. David, 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 David Long, yeah. Zach Cunningham. Yeah, obviously, we saw David Smaller, like, yeah. he fucking... Bro, did you see... Did y'all... Yeah, we saw it. 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 Oh, my God. I've never seen that. Yeah, i never seen nothing like that either. But we saw it. I go, he's... The last time I... Yeah. Yeah. Last time I seen something like that is when Cam Chancellor took Mikey Putty out. Oh, yeah. You remember that? Yeah, yes. Yeah, on that, that stream was crazy. Play. That was yeah. crazy. Yeah, when I saw that play, I was like, oh, my God. For yeah. everybody listening, you're talking about when... Uh, I, uh, I don't want to blast the boy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, he's, you know he's but, a boy, like, noticed, and he's, he's, he's a fan of the boys, too. Titans didn't put it on Twitter, but the Bucks want to put me in falling on Twitter. That's what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> we'll figure that out. Yeah, like, it's wild. Hey, hey, Nate. <laughs> I don't know who runs the social for Titans, but I'm just speaking to, to Nate Bain, who's part of the team. It's like, hey, funnel me some stuff now. Yeah. Funnel me some like, stuff. Let me, yeah, let me yeah, be yeah, the yeah. vessel. Yeah, that was let a, me be that guy. Yeah, I'll be that guy. Yeah, that dude, a, when I saw that play, I was like, yeah, woof. That, that was a physical play. That, that was, was a crazy. Physical, and it was yeah. just weirdly yeah. physical, too. Right, the way right, right, like, right. Yeah, it was like, that was a classic, like, uh, what you call it? Damn. From your lead with your shoulder and your same foot. Same foot, same oh, shoulder. Yeah. Same foot, same shoulder. Yeah. 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 Had a brain fart there. I get it. Yeah. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have yeah. been there. Yeah, I'm glad Will was here yeah. to navigate that for us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, him and dude, Zach too. Zach can, Zach's super fast and twitchy, mm -hmm. but dude, he lays, he lays dudes yeah. out. Mm, yeah. He lays dudes out. When he was in Houston, I mean, yeah. even last year with the Titans, he just, I think he's got like a vendetta against offensive linemen. He literally just fucks <laughs> them up. It's yeah. wild. Yeah. Wiles away takes them out. I think that's most linebackers have that vendetta against O line. I don't understand like, it. Yeah, you just think to yourself. So we were talking on the phone the other day, like knowing, like if I had to see Taylor in certain situations, like yeah. based on game plan, like you literally think to yourself, I have to 
fucking try and get him before he gets me. Yeah. Because exactly. the, for the most part, they're exactly. not for the most part, like yeah. all the part, Hightower's whole game plan. Yeah, yeah. Like the, the, all the part, like they're mm. way bigger than you. Yeah, so it's yeah. like you have to fucking like think, yeah. I gotta take this motherfucker yeah. out before they look at me. You know who comes to mind when I think about stuff like that? Yoshi. Going against Yoshi, you know yeah, how yeah, he Highway was. 51. Yeah, Highway yeah. 51. Yeah. Who's Yoshi? <laughs> oh, my he's, uh, he's, yeah. He went to Fort Scott with yeah, uh, Tay. Oh, me, I got you. We came to Nebraska together. Like, he's one of those guys, like, you got to get him before he gets you because if he go, if he gets you, he's going to try to embarrass you. Yeah, like, he was very extra. Like, somebody, you're like, all right, bro, we're fucking, the play's <laughs> over with. Like, <laughs> lay on you and be, like, just really extra. Yeah. Hold you a lot. Do Love whatever that. he can to, like, pancake you. Yeah, do whatever he can. Like Love he, that. I always tell him, like, you will never get me. Like, he'll try to grab you. He'll be twisting and turning. And yeah. if he gets you, he's going to lay on you and just, like, belly flop on you, basically. Right. <laughs> you Way after the whistle's over, yeah. too. Yeah. Like, really that's try not, to... That's not like Jensen. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. Jensen right hey, there. Everybody yeah. hates Jensen, huh? Dude, oh, everyone... Hey, hates, I hate Jensen. Everybody, everybody yeah, hates I Jensen. fucking hate Jensen. I fuck with Jensen. I know I've really never really talked to him, but I mess with him. Yeah. yeah. He's one of those dudes you like when he's yeah. on your team and he's yeah. on your yeah. side, but, like, against him, it's such like, bro, get the fuck. And then, as a person, he's a great dude, too. Is he? Yeah. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Real cool dude. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Is his knee good? Uh, it's no really final report on it. That's the crazy part about it. So we don't really know what's exactly going on. He's just done for the on. season? I don't think so. Gotta piss everybody off. Somebody like that gets hurt like early in camp. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I know. Yeah, we was, Probably a scuffle around the, yeah. it's like, what the, you know. It was just, it was just like an unfortunate situation though. Like, it wasn't meant, it wasn't person. We was just in a, in a team drill, competitive drill. And yeah. It happened. But, you know, Jensen, obviously, a leader of the O-line, he's going to be definitely missed if he missed some games. So, But uh, he's in good spirits, though. That's the that's the best thing about that's it. Good. You know, so. Yeah, that's good. He seems like a dude. Yeah. Should we do our tear talk? I think it's time for tear talk. What's tear talk this week? You guys probably heard some of the pod, right? Like, you do. You, were you, did you listen to us when Lenny was on the bus? Did you listen? Uh, I, I wasn't. I was, it, was fast, it was fast food breakfast. I was high school on uh, Pac-Man. Oh, oh, over there? <laughs> yeah. You got to play Galaga? I didn't. I was playing. That's the game, though. That's the game. I lost like three minutes. What did did we did we come to what we wanted to do for the tier talk? We interrupt this episode to bring you Duke Cannon. Shout out the boys at Duke Cannon. No free shout outs, boys. Listen, they're dry ice. Is their one their front runner, right? Hitter. You, you want to right now? You want to stay cool? I'm sweating under this thing, but I know where I'm not sweating, and that's my pits because of dry ice. It cools you throughout the entire day. However, my favorite product to date is the coal. Miner's face wash. Coal mining? Coal miner? It's one of those. It's miner, right? Um, that's my favorite thing to use. I've washed my face three times a day now. My wife is actually here and she can tell you that she absolutely loves the scent. Go ahead and tell. I love when I put it on. I do. That's great, Bam. Uh, big ass brick of soap. That's also a hitter. Traveling to Nebraska, I brought the entire carry on with the little scrunchy thing that you put yeah, me on, saying absolutely. that hey, you can use that as a loofah. But it's all there. Check out Duke Cannon at any Target or on DukeCannon.com and use code BUSSIN for 15% off. That's DukeCannon.com. Use code BUSSIN for 15% off your first order. Back to the episode. Let's do best jerseys, best NFL uniforms. Let's we'll just lock that in. I'm down with that. All right. Best NFL. You want to go first, or do you want the boys to go first and give you guys some time? Yeah, I'll go first. Will, right, Taylor. Will, you're up. Man, that's tough, bro. <laughs> Get, yeah, throw up the 32 teams just for NFL. me, please. Just NFL. Best NFL jerseys. Does that have to be, like, right now? Like, present, uh, present uh, day or past? Present day. Okay. Go back. You can? Cause you, so you would go. You and, gotta like actually like since we're throwing this off the cuff. I feel like it's easier just to do present because if it's re like you throwing retro, like I feel like I gotta. Think so we'll about do the two retro. categories at a later date. We'll do just present right now. That make you feel better. Yeah, man. Thank All you. Right. I got you. I appreciate that. Look at Sue. <laughs> Big girl. <laughs> Damn. I'm gonna I'm gonna take my time first. Like yeah, we, we got we're no time. we're in zero. Just sweating a little bit. But I just wanna. A little rattled, slightly rattled. You got here? It, uh, uh, if we could just throw up the logos of the team. I think I got my number one. Mm. Hey. Oh, it's kind of hard because I play. Oh, I'm telling you. I saw it. I was like, "Damn!" For you real. said it's kind of hard because what? I play a lot of Madden, and then you know how you could change the uniform. Yep. Right. You mix and match like what you think's the best. You play a lot of Madden. Yeah. 
Man, I can't get into get the it. New Madden codes? I didn't get the. I don't have the new Madden yet. Oh, you should have. NFL PA should have sent it to you. Yeah, I gotta check. I sent that off the other day. Go, yeah. buddy. So go ahead. This is tough. I think I got. I won. And I have two. I have two. I just gotta find number three. Fuck. I think if they would have let us have the uh, creamsicles this year, our throwback creamsicles. You would probably would have. You guys just throw back orange? Yeah. Oh, bro. Yes. That's Incredible. To be this year, but I don't know. But a lot of retros are tough. Like the Oilers, tough. Oilers go hard. Oh, yeah. Oilers go hard. All right. I'm having, a, I'm having a hard time here. So let me ask a question. If I wanted to go with, like, if I just said, like, the Browns. And I'm not going the Browns. But I'm saying, like, if it was, like, they're all brown jerseys. Mm. Like, that. Is a tear to me. Yeah. Is that okay to say? Yeah. Okay, then I have my I have my whole list. You want me to go first? Yeah, you go ahead and go okay. first. <sighs> I know it's tough, man. I know, and I hate going first too, because you guys are gonna say a couple of them I'm like, damn, I should have picked that. <laughs> no doubt. My tier three is it it's gonna be an an alternate jersey for um the Arizona Cardinals. I think they're all blacks. All black, yeah. I think those things go fucking hard, dude. Mm. You see out there, they, I think it looks really good. Yeah. I think uh, usually, like even in high school, like if a, a team has their main color being black, it's usually a good look. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So I'm going to go with my tier three being the uh, Arizona Cardinals black jerseys. Uh, my tier two, I'm not sure why. I, I love the combination. With the red tops and the gold bottoms, I think the 49ers uniforms yeah. are just classic and okay. fire. And I think yeah. a lot of people lose the, um, the beauty in a uniform by yeah. doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Seahawks alternate. Well, no, I think, I think the Seahawks are like right on that cusp, but even some like newer college stuff. Mm -hmm. Like you go, like you look at Penn State, like they're as basic as can be, but they look fire. You know, Michigan, maize and blue, they look fire. I think Chargers are D. My tier one. My hands are sweating. <laughs> is one of our best fan base. And it's going to be mm. the Las Vegas Raiders. That silver and black, dude, I think is the hardest combo in the NFL. And obviously, I'm excluding the Titans. That's my tiers. If Titans were in there, though, do you have your jerseys in there? Like, I, I like it's not like I don't think if somebody heard that they weren't in your top three, that it would be the like Oilers a shot. would be. If we went all, I think Oilers sure, would be my I tier think one. Oilers would be Oilers sick, would be my bro. tier one. But like, I just don't. To me, my favorite of the Titans is the all navies. Yeah, the all navy goes hard. Feel. Yeah, I think yeah. the all navies are sick. We're wearing tomorrow. Nice. All navy. We can swag out. Red cleats. Swag red out on that red one. Shooter. <sighs> Go ahead, Willie. You lose. Um. <laughs> So, throwing in an alternate, you rattled my brain, especially when you said Madden. Mm -hmm. But my tier three, and hey, we are, we see eye to eye on yeah. the majority of this. And we've list. had these conversations before. Yeah. I knew it would happen yeah, like yeah. this. Yeah. Uh, but my tier three isn't going to be, uh, what was your tier Cardinals. three? Cardinals, yeah, all black. It wasn't the Cardinals. I love the Cowboys alternate where they have the star on the shoulder pad. Oh, that's yeah. a great right shoulder. Choice. Okay. I think those are fire with the white helmet, the Navy star. I think those are electric. My tier two, I 1,000% agree with Taylor. I love the 49ers. I love the red and gold. Yeah. Classic. I love how the, the gold just pops mm -hmm. on the Niners helmet. Mm -hmm. And my tier one, like, you said all the right things. There's something about the silver and black. And, dude, yeah. wearing it, you just feel, you feel invincible. Really? You feel fucking dope. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. even if you're carrying a little extra on the bottom tire and you're wearing that black, like, you just feel sick. Mm. When the black shooter, you got the, they, they, matter of fact, these are like, these are like the cleats that they have. You get to rock the uh, Jordans. Yeah. Do you really? Yeah, bro. Yeah. The Jordan, yeah, the ones. Yeah, those go hard. It's just, um, oh, it's got an excluder. Yeah, well, hang on now. I'm not in the league. 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 Yeah, but your most recent team. But I'm not in the league. You're 10? Hey, the old Redskin jerseys are fire too. Good question. They are, but what I didn't like about the uh, Redskins is like the the bottoms. Now they're different, like but we had to wear like the yellow bombs. I just wasn't a fan of those. You know what was fire, but now is garbage? The Falcons. 
Yeah, because they're, 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 they're alternate on Madden, yeah. I think, is fire. Yeah, the, 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 the black. Uh, yeah, the, the red, in the red helmet, the yeah, all blacks. The red, oh, bro. Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, Atlanta used to be. And then they did that fucking wash where it washes from black to red or red to black. <laughs> That's garbage. And I think your guys' shit's cool, too, but I, like, it doesn't. The, the, the family member vibe there is the yeah. Niners, and I don't think you guys touch the Niners. Nah. You got, it. You got me first? So my tier three, I'm gonna go with the Dolphins. That's a Dolphins. great pick. Nice I pick. look yeah. at them too. Yeah, just home Dolphins. team. You just want the home jersey. Nah, uh, just it's just something about the the white face mask with the visor and yeah. the, the 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 teal. You know, the white like it's yeah. just it's sweet. And then they throw back. You can mix in a little black with it with the swag. Uh huh. So that's kind of like kind of like my dope. My hey, dope that's a pick. good first pick. Yeah. yeah. And that's the white it. face mask part. Yeah. I always thought Texas was dope because they had the white face mask. The white mask. face mask. Yeah, like yeah. the dark visor Texas with is it. up there oh. for best college uniforms. Yeah. Texas is up there. My tier two, I'm going to go with the Raiders. The Raiders is my tier two. They're just the classic black and silver. Mm -hmm. Just goes yeah, with anything. Goes true, with like, it. Like, you're like Yeah. And then my tier one, you know, basically everybody got the San Francisco 49ers. Yeah. Like they all black alternate. When they came That's out that fine. one, I didn't even think about that, dude. And I didn't think about make that. your pick unique is like it's the all black. Yeah, we put up like it won't just be the Niners logo. Yeah, like, yeah. you'll get to pick the all black. All black. Oh, so dope. You should be excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of right. hard. It's kind of hard. I think my my tier three would have to be the Steelers. I think that's, that's, that's a good pick. That, that is a good pick. Yeah. I think that classic black and respect being passed around. On I that. know it is good because it usually doesn't go like yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of times there's arguments. Hey, that's garbage. <laughs> you know? That classic black and yellow. I think is is nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, the the logo on one side. I was gonna say Niners, right but since y'all said it, <laughs> y'all said it, I'm gonna change it. But I was gonna say Niners. I grew up a Niners fan. Uh, cause I was born and raised in California. Mm -hmm. Gonna happen. Well, you can choose them, brother. <laughs> if you want, we can have them. <laughs> Here's what you can do: you can throw in an uh, sneak an honorable mention in there. Honorable mention. Honorable mention. Niners. There you go. Uh, then I'll go with the uh, the Panthers all black uniform. Okay. <laughs> Panthers got some sickies. <laughs> it was only only because when I found out like the the history behind them. Yeah. When we had our my rookie our D line coach, he played for the Panthers, and he said when they when you play at their house and they were all black, that means they're trying to disrespect you. Oh really? Wait, what? Say that again? A funeral or something? Oh, I didn't know that. That's that dope. A, yeah. back I, wasn't, I wasn't 100 percent fired up on that pick, and then by yeah. you saying that, that fired me up. No, it's because the history behind it. And then I think my tier one. I can't. I couldn't pick between Green Bay and the Seahawks, but I have to go with the Seahawks. Uh, they're like lime green. Yeah. Um, color rush uniforms. Yeah. Color rush. No. <laughs> like it. I think That's I think I say that because I uh I always use the Seahawks and Madden, and I always use that color yeah. rush, uh that that colorway. I think that's what the reason why I, yeah, I feel them. like Green Bay kind of got shunned out of your. I know I was going, thinking that towards the end. Yeah, the way you're bouncing them as your tier one, it's like yeah. one could just been tier two and they just moved down the ladder. But yeah. I get it. Everybody get on a mission. Or no? You want you want to throw in an honorable mention? Go ahead. I don't know. It's something about that. <laughs> I think the uh, all black Saints is dope too, dude. Yeah, I was gonna want to change mine. Yeah, I think an honorable mention. Throw them in there for my honorable mention. Yeah, I, you, you want to put them that. in there? I'd like to, but I, yeah. I've already, and we can't. I've already put mine down. I, I do. I did like that. I do like that Saints. That uh, a Florida Lee is dope. Then, I didn't want to say it because I didn't want to turn on me because it was like <laughs> there's like our, our rivalry. <laughs> well, do you like, that's the what you Panthers. <laughs> yeah, you did. I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You don't see them as a rival, huh? No, I, like I feel like our real rival is the Saints, but I didn't want it to turn on me, and they were like, "Hey, we're about to play the Saints. You over there, focus on their jerseys." <laughs> so that's what I will be that is tough when you're playing ball and you gotta like worry about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was your honorable mention? I was gonna go with the Jets. Really? Yeah. Okay. You wanna you wanna defend that? What do you mean by that? Yeah, like the old, not not the new ones, but the older ones. It's just like I, you know me, I'm simple. Yeah, we're doing retro. Yeah, yeah, the retro ones, whatever. But the, the the simple green and white, all white, and the green on green, like it just. Yeah. I don't know. It just it just pops for me. All right. Is that the jersey they were wearing when you cheap sided Gino Gino Smith out of bounds and lost the game? They actually wearing all white for real. You lost that game. I ain't lose that game. I'm not gonna lie, I the Bengals, the Bengals' new uniforms are kind of fire. Play. 
I don't know. The orange doesn't do it for me. Bad decision. <laughs> no. Horrible call by the ref. No, bro. He was out of bounds. They changed the rule in next. No, what, no, are the no, three, what are the three words? All you had to do, he was going out of bounds. All you had to do was just touch him to go out of bounds. I did. They get a personal foul penalty. They get in field goal range. They kick the field goal to win the game. I did touch That's him. one of Boogie's first years. I remember thinking, what the fuck? <laughs> the next year, they changed the rule. But all I'm saying was you didn't have to do what you did. And yeah, we don't got to do this. Out of bounds. Y'all don't got to fight. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. Hey, Right. The three words are kind of like, they kind of, it's kind of, goes with, yeah. Yeah, I feel you on that. <laughs> Team kind of makes it the jersey. Oh, Ravens are sleeper too, though. Yeah, Giants, you're the right. Giants. The all black Ravens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we talking about the worst? You talking about the worst Giants? No, 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 I, I like the Giants. Saying. Yeah, in like 2007. You know what I'm saying? When they were in the yeah. Super Bowl and stuff? Like, yeah. Oh, man, those Giants are yeah. sweet. <laughs> yeah, Giants is kind of weak. The three worst ones are I and listen, this I'm is not, not shade, this is not like... shade, but Houston, Jacksonville. I think the new I think <laughs> round it up. No, I think the new Rams uniform. I don't, I don't really like it. You don't like them? I, I, I like the gray, old... like the gray white. They the yeah, off white yeah. they have is cool. The Chargers, I don't like their uniform. I don't like them either. The powder blue. Yeah. I don't like, them either. I don't like the Bucks uniform. <laughs> hey, cat, like, write that up. Put that in there. He just says, I don't like the bugs. Man, I don't know. Already did it. Roback? Do you want to introduce the question? <clears throat> yeah, okay. This is the last question. It's by Roback. This is the second time we're doing it. So basically, you need to use code BOYS. I'm a horrible reader, so you guys need to hold up. You're doing great, brother. Uh, use code BOYS on Robac.com for 20% off your first purchase. That's R-H-O-B-A-C-K dot com. Code BOYS. They work with the best college athletes from Will Anderson to the boy Michael Mayer and B. John Robinson. And have the best performance polos, shorts, what does that say? Q-zips and O-zips? No, you did good. Q-zips. Q-zips and hoodies. Boom. Go ahead, Will. Last question. Yeah, and it's all... It, we wear this shit all the time. We're going to give you guys a, a free hoodie. Uh -huh. And we're going to package you guys from Roback. Pretty exciting stuff. I think my my question is for you. Uh-huh. And it's... uh, How much longer do we get to see Levante David play? And what else do you have to accomplish? Ah. Uh. Outside of fucking, obviously, what everybody says. And that's when a Super Bowl for the team. How much you gonna see from me? Honestly, I'm actually kind of going like year to year right now. You know, this is basically my last year in my contract right now. And I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great, I'm healthy, I'm happy. Um, but you know, right now, just year to year. And as far as much more I gotta accomplish, still feel like I got some more stuff to accomplish. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to solidify myself as one of the best linebackers that played the game. Um, trying to, obviously, I want to make the Hall of Fame, so I'm trying to, like, you know, pad those numbers a little bit. It's kind of like, you know, I like what goal of mine was to obviously, you know, reach the 40-20 the club with the 40 sacks, 20 interceptions thing. But I don't know how much longer I got to play to do that. Where are you at right now? I'm at 26 and 12. So Got still, a little bit of work. Yeah, I got a little bit of work, <laughs> so you never know. But, you know, uh, it just goes, it's just, just, how my body, how far my body takes me, and then uh, just how my mental is, you know. Um, I have obviously I'm a family man now, so uh congratulations on being a new it, dad. Appreciate it. So uh gonna go from now. That was an outstandingly buttoned up dancer. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> you that was he, pro. You can see yeah. when he gets in the yeah, he's got he's got it. Dude, when we were in Nebraska, he literally said, like, we talk about the NFL and stuff. And I was like, how long you want to play? He's like, oh, I probably want to get like 10 years. I'm just thinking like the fact that you can just talk like that and say that. But here we are. You're on year 11. 11 you know what I mean? You're in college. You're like, oh, I want to get 10 years in the league. Like yeah. probably play 10 and then see where I'm at. <laughs> so yeah, you got the juice for real. But. When I actually got here, I didn't think I was going to make 10. I'm just... <laughs> Didn't. You happen to have one? No, I'm good. I'm set. I'm... Boys, I appreciate it. It's been a fucking awesome time. It started off, I felt like we were kind of feeling it out. We're, yeah. we're, we're you're, like the, you're like the stereotypical, like, big guy who's, like, soft-spoken and doesn't say a whole lot. But we got into your stories, and Buddy, hey, you I had, yeah. you killed it, You bro. had 10 minutes of just running. I was just like a child sitting at the edge of my yeah. seat enjoying myself. Yes, bro. 
But thank y'all, man. <laughs> yeah. Subscribe to Bust With The Boys. If you're watching right now, subscribe. Follow us on Apple, Spotify, all the shit. Uh, we'll obviously be pulling for the boys in Tampa when we're not rooting for the boy in Tennessee. Totally different division. We don't even play this year. So we'll be rooting for you guys the whole time. Big hugs, tiny kisses.